Let's uh, see. Uh, I have to explain the absence of the two members last week. Okay. Um, I think before the the night, uh, the two of the the party uh, went investigating. Uh, somebody went. Well, I think two people went to uh, stalking the temple, in order to to find more ideas on how to get into the the compound. Okay, while well, the rest of the party, the three of them, uh, went their separate ways. So what happened last week is the three party members uh, that comprise of Camille, um, Leona, and also uh, Carl was uh, having some reconnoitre of all the happening. So while they were exiting the the shack, well, I could, if I may call it a shack. Uh, he noticed the the mist starts coming in fast from the waterways from the riverside. <coughs> so one of them saw a zombie that uh, that emerged from the approaching and encroaching mist. Okay, Carl, without hesitation, started what he does best. <laughs> Cast, casting Eldritch Blast without fumbling this time. I think he has his, his broadband to his patron uh, fix. Now he has 5G or something like that. <laughs> but as the, the zombie approach uh, further, they started, some of them uh, started feeling uneasy. It's as if something is Squeezing their mind, if I may put it that way. And two of them felt like they were... Some of their thoughts were, were being read. And surprisingly enough, the zombies started calling their names. Carl! Leona! Before it was dispatched by the three of them. And and as the zombie falls to the ground, it let out a dying shriek. I'll see you soon. And it it dies. Totally freaked out. So the three of them went to report to the Grand Marshal, to the Lord Marshal about this. And the Lord Marshal was saying that this is weird. I have never heard of this occurrence. Where they can speak their names, your names especially. And one of them uh, convinced the Lord Marshal to impart a, a letter of access to the church in order to do their own uh, plans. And as uh, the night goes by, as it approaches, so they, they went to the Degapon Inn, and then after that, they they went there stalking and lurking and lots of things going on before some more it led to more mischief and the party split. One goes to the Grand Playhouse and does not exit. Uh ten points to who knows who, who we are talking about. <laughs> Another person uh stayed at the Degafon Inn before Managing to cast uh, a spell, and another person went towards the the shack, the the land area, East Grove, that you have, which the person started experiencing more things, started scratching outside of the the building that they have uh, occupied. So. This is where I, I think our story ends last week. And the beginning of this week. Is everybody ready? Yep. Alright. <coughs> so, just to, to, to have uh, to fill in the plot holes that came up from last week. We have two persons. Uh, Vincent. And also... Chen Chen, you 
managed to find some more uh, information <coughs> about uh, of course Vincent wanted more uh, knowledge about the the surrounding and then he went to search the town to familiarize himself with the town being um, unfamiliar with this place while Chen Chen was communion communicating with his deity because the the sense of sourness is more and more apparent day by day in this town so as you they after they went they managed to bump into each other they noticed they are going back towards their their land it is it is proof and they saw somebody from a far waving a torch on a long stick maybe is it a broomstick that was shouting into the sea or into the waters as the the mist started uh, retreating and that person seems to be cursing shouting and as if trying to drive the mist away which surprisingly the mist actually retreated from his, uh, this person shouting and then later this person uh was seen running back towards the direction of the shack and went in and and then not seen to be appearing anymore the so shack it, meaning our shack yeah the call then this is a fast conclusion <laughs> Oh. So so quick to assume. <laughs> go, 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 go and greet Carl. <laughs> All right. So this is where uh, it begins. So uh, somebody was at the Daggerford Inn. Somebody is at the Playhouse, and that person seems to be running into the building and and disappeared into the building. Okay. <coughs> uh, before that. Jam. Yes. Anything on my studies? Yes. About the the thingy, the thingy. Okay. Uh, okay. This is where the split party channel comes into <laughs> the picture. Uh, as you can see. Uh, yeah. Yep. You see the split party channel. So, uh, I am inviting Vincent Morbius into the split party channel with me. Oh. So you guys can have your conversation outside. Right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, right. wow. So, wow, this, this, yes, this is a new feature, guys. Uh, if the GM wants to have a personal talk with a player, they will go into the Speed Party channel where they will talk and explain what's happening and so on. Uh, to make it less obvious, well, actually, it was the Whisper channel, but it kind of feels a bit like, hey, uh, that's obvious what's going on. So, uh, change it to the Speed Party channel because it kind of works i i don't know I, i'm still debating on it what what do you guys think yeah, <laughs> yeah. whatever works yeah. i'm just filling up time so that the recording doesn't go silent <laughs> so it would be nice if you guys have say more than that you assholes it's cool it's cool I mean, you can pause the recording right <laughs> pause the recording. we don't have to keep recording it you know, pause the video oh <laughs> god damn it. i'm not gonna do that shit what shit you want to do? Oh, we we you let's can edit one. Yeah, no, fuck that shit. <laughs> oh, kinky, yeah. God no. Uh, but yeah, um, I I feel like that's going to be very interesting because it uh the GM will focus on the player that uh needs to be focused on. So yeah, uh, as for the rest of us, we we just kind of have to do our own thing and fill in the empty space. <laughs> Okay, if if that's the case, then oh, the GM permission. Uh, just 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 gonna tap it. The GM permission. I get to start. I'm gonna start my day. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna wake up and I'm gonna look for Camille. I think he's gonna be at playhouse. Probably, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna see Camille. What are you It'll doing? Be long story, yeah. I 
think, I mean, for you, we got no idea. You could have been shagging around all night. Mm. <laughs> well, that, that, that's a scene for me. It's going to be in the morning. Well, in the morning, so I'm just going to look for Camille, drag him, drag him up. Uh, but before that, I'm going to order some wine. Oh, uh, there we go. A uh, GM okay, start. Okay. Hello, GM. You can start your day. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I, I just assume that I'm going to uh, look for Camille. <clears throat> And then we're going to drag him to the, you know, drag, sober him out a bit. And then we're going to drag him to the farm as well. All right. Uh, but before that, I'm going to order three bottles of wine and uh, two Happy Meal. From, eh? Yeah, two Happy Meal from uh, our friend. Okay, so that will cost in total roughly because the bottles fluctuate over time. So it's roughly about five gold pieces. Wow, Ooh. per bottle or four bottles? That's- Three bottles of wine and two Happy Meal, right? Oh, yep, yep. Total is five. Uh, total, is, total, is, total is five gold pieces. Mm, okay. Now, GM, how many yeah. days has it been? Uh, I think it's about um, one day has elapsed. One day, let me check on some. Okay, two days to go. Oh no, okay, there's yep. a countdown timer. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yep. Okay, guys, we go, just go to bed and sleep. There, that, that's it. Two days will be done in uh, one session. You, you think it's me, uh, it's the Minecraft. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a two days timer. Yeah, it, it feels one day like has months. elapsed. It feels like two weeks. Uh. <laughs> I feel like a month or two months. <laughs> Carry on. Okay, carry on. So, uh, we, let's see. Um, Carl and also Kamil, you managed to find and drag Kamil out of that playhouse. Re- using one goal because he needs to get into the playhouse. Yes, he does. Do I? Yes, because you want to go to the playhouse, right? So you need uh, to pay for Entry fee. Entry point. Entry fee. It's in the morning. Playhouse is close, right? Nope. It's open 24 no. hours. It's open 24 hours. Yeah. It's just like a normal tavern, yes. Ah, uh, heaven way 24 hours. <laughs> I mean, back in uh, this other place, uh, it's not 24 hours. Okay, uh, Carl, so your your plan is? I try to persuade the guy to let me in so that I can get back the, uh, my friend out. Uh. You can roll your perception. Ah, perception perception. Or perception? Perception. Perception. Ah, perception. Yeah, sorry. Perception. Perception. Net one. Net one. Net one. <laughs> well, you managed to be very persuasive, trying to argue your point that you are just trying to get your friend out. Yeah, right? you, don't, you don't want a drunk guy there to you know disrupt the business. You know, you want you want to get out. Well, yes, but orders are orders. Money is money. Mm-hmm. Money is money. Otherwise, the manager will be very pissed off at me. Ah, yeah. Do you want to piss off the manager? Do you want yeah. to piss off the manager? The manager doesn't need to know, right? Wing, wing. What he knows, he knows. <laughs> well, you have to. Everybody has to pay the entry fee. It's okay. I'm just try. I just. I'm not there to enjoy the move. Just gonna drag out my friend. Get over there. You know, he's gonna. He's bad for business. Too drunk. You know. <laughs> he's bad for business. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Camille nope. is the only guy that's supporting the business. <laughs> Remember that there's, there's a lot of religious guys that. <laughs> yeah, but he's like, those guys come once a day. Camille comes every five seconds. <laughs> uh, okay. Can Carl? Can you roll a perception check? Perception or persuasion? Perception check. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> close enough. Okay, be- because you can you can hear uh, somebody giggling from the inside. <laughs> you your perception, even though it's not that high, but you manage to recognize that giggling voice is Camille. Yeah, okay, he, just giggled, <coughs> he just giggled just now. <laughs> Come on, get your ass out here. Let's go to work. <laughs> ah, work already. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We we got, and, I got. And, and, and by now the bouncer is really annoyed as at you shouting into the building <laughs> from the outside, <laughs> like a vagabond. Uh, come here, get your ass to work. Commander okay, Danny, we're looking for you. Okay, goodbye, darlings. All right, thank you, sir. Get your ass out of here. Thank you, sir. Okay, DM status report. Uh, long rest, loot, and damage. <laughs> okay. Um, you ma- you did not manage to get a full rest actually. Mm-hmm. The damage the damage is about. I think you imparted. The, I it's about. Let's see. Hmm. Let me roll this. Oh, GM. By the way, uh, what Vincent is doing is impossible. Impossible. Oh, very hard because. Remember, I barred the door. Oh yeah. Okay, then revert back outside. All right, all right, shoo, 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 shoo. Clock, clock, clock. Okay, man. Lah, masuk rumah. GM, the GM, the looper. The door is locked. Yeah, I know. No, because there's two things going on. Ah, two, two, two. There's a problem with that. Sabo, sabo. I'm sorry. Sabo. Ah, ah. Tunggu jap. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, did you do the whispering channel because of the last session? No. The what? No, no last session. <laughs> Too many PM. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh god. Uh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because of that. Because of that. Oh yeah. Yeah, because okay. too many things. Because it it is really 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 annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this is what happened to Camille. Well, you were, you were, uh, I wouldn't call service, you were attended by two ladies. <coughs> mm-hmm. Agne- Agnes and Monica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Okay. And they managed to um, have a good chat with you. They managed to, to convince you to buy uh, some wine, some, some meals. All the time they with you, and they managed to. So Agnes managed to impart about ten gold piece from you, while Monica mm-hmm. managed to be less persuasive and convincing. Only managed to impart uh, nine gold piece from you. Uh huh. And gold. you did not get enough rest, to be honest. Yeah. Too much action. Mm. Yes, you mm. managed to just uh, sneak in a short rest. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is thing before you 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 went out and then somebody screaming your name from the outside. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. And then uh, you turn out it's call outside. All right. So. I'll go to from Carl to the scene at the the shack. What I <laughs> oh god, fuck! Who is it? It's us, Chen Chen and Vincent. Ah, oh, god! Give me a second. Go down, push crate, open door. Ah, oh, okay. oh, fuck my head. Uh, come in, come in, come, come in. in. What happened? I don't know. Last thing I remember was waking up in the universe office with a stab wound. All right. What? So, Chen and uh, Vincent, can you please uh, roll a possession check? Sure. Yeah. <coughs> Chen Chen, 22. Mm, not bad. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. Uh, you managed to see uh, most of the furniture is being rearranged to bar the door. And that you, you saw a broomstick. Quite long broomstick with something that is charred at one end. I'd say something, the, a broom that has been burned. Sitting at one corner, idly. We 
saw okay. some weird person nagging into the mist along the sea edge and along the river's edge. <coughs> Is, was it happened to be you? I'm not sure, but last night while I was trying to sleep, they were scratching on the walls. So when I got outside, uh, it seems like the mist, it kind of ran away when I was uh, taunting it and stuff. So this I'm not 100% sure uh, if you saw something, but um, from what I saw, I didn't saw anything of that description. So you were the one who nagging towards the mist with a inflamed broomstick? Well, I, I would say mostly I was using it as a torch to kind of beat away the zombies if there are any. Oh, by the way, yesterday there's a zombie attack at the farm. Zombie attack? More or less should be expected. Yeah, but um, there's the dead body behind the... Oh, well, not really behind the house, but um, next to the beds. And I generally point the direction towards here. Inside the... Outside. Is it outside? Alright, I'll check it on. Yeah, good luck, I'm because gonna... there's nothing much you do check out. Uh, the body is bloated. Uh, from what we can tell, it's it could be a sailor. But the strange thing is, sailors in the lake... Yeah, so nothing much on that, but be my guess. All right, where's the other? Oh man, I got no idea. Um, you know, oops, right, you don't know about uh, Camille. Uh, Camille likes to hang around in the playhouse, so I'm guessing he's there. And Carl, I got no idea. His idea was to sleep here, so no idea. And... One thing, when you were banging on the door outside, uh, Carl and... Oh, no, no. Uh, it's Vincent and also Chen Chen. You notice um, some scratch marks uh, on the walls of the, the shack uh -huh. or the cottage. A lot, well, actually, lots of scratch marks. All right, right. And in one of the scratch marks, there is a loose fingernail that's stuck on the wall. Okay. All right. So that's that. Ah. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm inviting Chen. Uh, let's see. Uh, Camille and Carl to the split party channel. All right. All right let's go. Oh, sorry. Wait, I have like spirit shroud. Shit. <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> I walk with you towards uh, this area here and point out the body here. Uh, the body is a possibly male. There's uh, a body there? Nothing there? Uh, I mean, you know There's nothing there? You know lah, the GM lupas habis lawan tolak tepi, but it okay. should be a body here unless nature took its course. This body. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <clears throat> So yeah, I, I describe, uh, I, I show you and I describe to players that uh, body could be male, bloated, uh, and it seems to be in the water for a while. Uh, he has uh, sailor's boots or possibly pirate boots so on. And uh, he has an arrow between the eye or crossbow bolt between the eye. All right. So yeah. That's the body, uh, nothing much to it. Uh, I think Carl managed to swipe uh, five or six coppers out of it. And the coppers were all green, meaning they were deoxidized for a while. Uh, meaning that the body has been in the lake for a while now. Is it, is it lake or a river? Uh, lake. Um, behind the behind us or to the south of us uh Daggerford has a lake that the fishermen go to to fish so yeah um having a sailor there is a bit confusing 
Okay, I'll try to check whatever is left. Oh, good luck, man, because I got no idea what we're dealing with here. Oh, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the zombie, I point, knows our name somehow? Zombies? Yeah. Don't really do that. Beats me. Uh, he knew my name and Carl's name and said that he'll be seeing us again. Interesting. I know. And it's a bit freaky. Oh, and by the way, um, the lake behind us here is called uh, Dillimbury River. Okay, it's so my bad, it's a river. But still. GM follows. Our character, what really happened last week? Hmm, our character, what really happened last week? Shenanigans! I tried to go learning, and they all kind of follow and spy on me. Okay. And I did thief stuff. Okay. Um, that kind of succeeded, but didn't get the results I wanted. Did you find the library, though? Uh, I found a library, uh, which is open. The other one, uh, we got a letter that we can go in, so yay. Okay, nice. Uh, and then... Shenanigans! So yeah, that, that's about it. And wow, they're taking so long. <clears throat> so what happened to your characters? Learning the basic stuff surrounding new character to the city, right? Learning the city. Mm, okay, so basic, basic stuff, all right. Uh, one thing that happened after the zombie battle, uh, we head towards the camp to warn the marshal that uh, they might be impending zombie attacks. So, yeah. And let's see. Uh, yeah, and we somehow managed to get a letter for the person to enter the church of Alatenda. Oh, Temple of Alatenda. Yes. So those snobs at the temple will have to let us in. Yay. Nice. <laughs> we still need to plan something though. Once we are in. Yeah. Um yeah, that, that's the thing. Um, the idea of going in is under the pretense of why the fuck are you not letting people in? <laughs> because it is true. Uh, the High Marshal agrees with the statement and is puzzled by the church's action. So we are... The High Marshal, Marshal meaning the one that outside? Uh, yep, the... Uh, or the yeah. John Cena's father. So... Uh, just in a spot. Okay, and uh, we got the letter from Lenever, is it? No, or no, no, the, the Lord Marshal himself. The, the Lord Marshal himself. Ooh, that is a good letter. Mm -hmm. Problem is, uh, Chen Chen cannot come in. True, that what is cannot true. come in? Because you're you the guy that started the whole problem. <laughs> You've got a problem with <laughs> <Lenever. laughs> Out of character, yes, we know that. No, my character knows that shit because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. <laughs> John told me all about the shit that started being wrong. <laughs> so yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> so yeah. What about the shadow? Uh, Have you seen the shadow any times? <laughs> uh, as players we do know. As uh characters fuck we know. <laughs> I lagi, yeah, my character lagi, tak tahu who is Sh Shadow. Who are you talking about? Some kind of yeah. black and red hedgehog? <laughs> oh god. So, yeah, uh, 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 starting this the channel thing is very interesting. Yep. Leona, did, okay, that's the character, Leona, do you remember 
the statue that we fought before in front of a statue that we fought before statue uh in the town yeah mm. that like the mama goes and everything trying to avoid it mm. um felix told me about it but nothing too detailed um something about those statues being a good place to huddle up for safety other than that nothing much i mean uh monsters are monsters that's about it What statue? Um, there's a statue around town. Um, I I don't remember, but it's kind of a um, motherly figure. I I forgot to which uh, deity the statue belongs to, but it seems to emanate an aura that kind of protects people. I, I'm not really sure. That's what Felix told me. Hmm. All right. See, did you find anything on how we can gonna get into the library? Oh, um, that I do, and I show you guys a letter, and I explain. The letter is from the high marshal himself. Um, with the zombie incident last night, we went to the marshal's camp and warned him about it. And also, I well, I didn't really tell him about our. Bizarre adventure, but I did tell him that uh, the church is not admitting people in because, well, that's strange. So uh, I convinced him that we could be his representative going to the church and investigating or asking some questions about why. You know what? I do have some information, though. Hmm. That's another library held by the Church of the Mother, Mother something. Oh, uh, Mother Teresa. <laughs> no, uh, you're talking <laughs> about the one near the playhouse. Yeah, I I know about that church. Um, the church is not that popular or grand, but it is open for people to go in and study. Um, I've been there a few times, brushing up on stuff. Anything interesting in the library? It's just a library. Um, they have books and whatnot. Nothing too outside of the norm. Like, okay, I'll just be honest with you guys. I'm trying to learn Elvish, so yeah. Um, I've been picking up books and stuff, and somehow I know a bit of agriculture. Funny. I think that you're Elvish. I'm an elf. Cool. Um, uh, if you have some downtime, you can teach me a bit more of Elvish. So that'll be fun. Yeah, even I am good at Sylvan as well. Ooh. One, but one, one thing at once. One thing at once. I know every language as long as it's written. <laughs> I see. <laughs> that's that's a bonus. That's a bonus. We we can use that to our advantage. And the library would be a good place to start. Hmm. All right, so guys, let, let's head in because it's getting a bit dank outside. I just want to search, uh, investigate this thingy, All but right. the GM was so so lucky. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Mm. So, ah, uh, okay. So we just wait outside here. So yeah, um, the plan for the library, um, Vincent, you really need to tell us what you're looking for. Just need some information about my research, and what might that be? Because if we know a bit of it, we can probably kind of find it while we're in there. That I'm afraid I cannot tell you guys. All right. I mean, uh, okay. I mean, I understand, but trying to look for something that we don't know in the library might be hard. But um, the point of going to the library is to investigate. Why they're not letting people in? I mean, there have to be a reason, and the marshal has stated that he's not really interested in local politics. So we also need to figure out what's the priest, uh, the, the priest's angle here. Like, what is he trying to do? Like, what does what is his end game? That's the thing. Well, I'm a I'm. With 
Marshall with this one. I do not interest. I do not have any interest in local politics. But along the way, I'll I'll try to help you guys in any way that I could. Well, I don't I don't really care for this place. But I just want to know. Well, not really want to. I mean, since we're already on this quest, so I I just want things to be solved. But why is the High Priestess Boris barring people from coming in? And it seems that he's more in more interested in power rather than helping the uh, people of Daggerford. A question: mm. These people coming in, do they ever come by up? All right. So, sorry. Uh, uh, give a second. Uh, uh, what, what did you say? I thought enough. Yeah, these people coming in. Do they ever come back up? Uh, from what I can tell, uh, there was an instance where pregnant women went in, and that's the last I've heard. Uh, nothing more to that. All right, GM. Room, I... Then you came in, GM. What happened? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um. Nothing. Well, uh, you you had some time to to catch up, and you managed to compare notes because the. Two of the three of you was not um, in the same building last session. Mm-hmm. Also, I point body to zombie here. Is it still there or has it despawned? <laughs> mm, well, it, it, there, there seems to be traces of something being dragged. Oh, okay. Hey, the zombie, oh, the, the zombie was burned. Yeah. Pardon? The, zo- the zombie was burned, remember? I cast bonfire on the zombie. Yeah, well, whatever the thing is, uh, the bonfire may be skeletal or remains something oh, yeah. be being dragged out. To the water? Well, you were not there, so you are still just entering the, the area. All right. So you have no idea where it went. I'll try so, to do two things. Okay. I'll roll for investigation to see the where does the body is being... So, uh, drag into, drag mm-hmm. to, mm-hmm. and then another one, Arcana, to see whether there's traces of any arcane remnants mm-hmm. or anything that is out of normality. Sure. So, roll for investigation. Mm-hmm. So, you saw uh, scorch marks of uh, something like a bonfire that was built there. Um, Maybe some something that has been burnt, charred, or uh, turned to cinder. Okay. And then, and at the same time, you just maybe something that seems to be either some footprints or something that seems to be dragging. Uh, it can okay. It seems to be coming to and from the water's edge. And there's more uh, claw marks across the walls. So it's been dragging to the southwards, I guess? Yes. And then our kind of any arcane remnants or thing that is not out of the normal. Yep. So for Carl and Camille, uh, you guys can see the map? No. I don't see anything. Camille... Yeah, I I can see. Yeah, you you just need to zoom out, I guess. <laughs> you are at the the edge of the map, at the north, at the the topmost edge of east the map, side. Camille. Yeah, east side. <laughs> east side. <clears throat> but Arcana, I don't get anything, right, Jim? Uh, okay. For the Arcana. That do you see? Okay, oh, okay. For Arcana, there seems to be nothing that you can detect that seems to be out of the ordinary. But at the back of your mind, something does not add up. Something. All right. All right. Oh my god. It's like somebody's going to get hurt real bad or something like that. Oh. Somebody. Okay. okay. <laughs> Not going to say who. 
Rule for initiative. Suddenly the rule for initiative there's a there's a Russell Peters over there. Oh no. Uh, and then. by this time around, you you saw two of your party members approaching. Okay. Well, Camille was a bit uh, lagging behind because I think he's trying to see to stable his wobbly knees. <laughs> Something, yeah. I think his vitality has been sucked out of him. Mm, too much exercise. <laughs> 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 so laptop, uh, yeah. See, even the laptop, vit- vi- laptop's vitality has been slow. <laughs> <coughs> well, it adds to the to the story. <laughs> hmm. <Keep> here. <laughs> All right. So Vincent, uh, that that is what you see. Okay. Uh, Chen Chen is also doing investigation, is it? Uh, yep. Okay, yeah, Chen Chen, what are you sure. investigating? Yeah. You say there was a, a claw mark and a claw left behind? It's not a claw, it's a nail. Oh, nail, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like something that uh, somebody's nail, literally, has been lodged into one of the the scratch on the the farm wall, the building wall. So can I tell whether it's human nature, whether the nail is human? Oh, yeah, it's, you, it like? looks human. It looks human. How long? We can get this. Pardon? How long is the nail? No, no, uh, uh, I think you're breaking up. Uh, he asked, how long uh, is the nail? How long? Nail. I think it's uh, usually... It's less than one inch. It's like somebody's normal nail, but a, somebody's been scratching on the wall. And then the nail broke off or broke away from... The finger. <laughs> it's a fingernail. Oh no. <laughs> it's a whole pi- fingernail. A whole fingernail? Oh. We do not Sunday. know. But you don't seem to notice any blood on the fingernail. Well, your forensic knowledge usually indicates that if there's any blood, it's from somebody that is Having blood, yeah, uh, somebody that's pumping blood in his or her veins, but does it not seem to be traces of blood? Somebody sucking blood now. Hmm. <sighs> so, and... all right, I'll, I'll so, relay the information about the body have been dragged to Chen Chen and Leona. Hmm, I... All right, by this time, Carl has joined you. And hey, where's Camille anyway? Just drunk. <laughs> yeah, I think he, yeah, I think he's drunk and yeah, okay. Well, well, he is wherever he is. <laughs> he is just, he's just right there. He's just uh, mm, wobbling. Yes, wobbling. Hey, so what's up, guys? What did I miss? Nothing much. Um, wait, where did where did you two go? What? Where did, where did the two of you went? Just looking around the city. Oh, trying okay. to get a view of the land. Uh, oh, okay. Chen Chen, how about you? Mm, just um, worshipping my deity. Trying to build a, a church maybe somewhere around here. A temple. <laughs> no more. Hey, that's a good idea. Oh god. Wait, what? You... <laughs> You say that's a good idea. Oh, God. That's a good idea. I, I thought that someone was going to smite you. That, that's a good idea. We, we can... <laughs> hey, but, but yeah, what, 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 what did I miss? What did, what did me and Camille miss? Because uh, me and Camille just came back from the playhouse. And yeah. So we went and, to the playhouse? Yeah. And then he was uh, told me that Yona, you got stabbed? Uh, yeah. Uh, fuck. Somehow oh. I wake up oh, yeah. in his office. With a stab wound and God, who's yeah. office? Where was uh, it? Commander Lenover. That's pretty weird. Uh, 
okay. Yeah, and Com Commander Animal seems to be, you know, a bit on alert. Because apparently someone's went through his stuff, maybe steal something in his in his uh office. So everything everyone's on edge right now. Yeah man. Like I, I'm I'm afraid it could be my enemies. So yeah, we should be careful. Commander Animal asked us each and each and everyone of us to be, you know, to watch our backs. To be on a high alert, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> because you know, he, he reminded that we are the wardens of this. <laughs> that that is a tap wound. Can you be a tap wound? Wait, is it a spoon? <laughs> was it a spoon? <laughs> it was a John Wick. It was a pencil. <laughs> oh, God. Even, even pencil is a pointing stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, so what did I miss? Did me and Kamil miss anything? Nothing much, just keeping um, these two updated on what happened yesterday with the zombies. Um, as you can see, uh, there's no zombie body here or remnants. And um, Morp here tells us that there seems to be drag marks towards the south. Weird. I, I, thought, I thought I burned the body. Yeah, you did. Somehow, something dragged it away. Yeah, we followed the uh, drag up. No, not yet. Um, we were talking about it, and then you came. So we go and follow the drag box? Because, well, because my mother, mother, mother was here. It seems to be a high level idea. I what? High level idea. High level. It's, uh -huh. It was able to probe my, me and Jonas mind. Okay. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if that was what affected you. Uh, Jim, what time is it? Well, by, by now, uh, it's almost 6 a.m. Almost 6 a.m.? What? We are in the night? No, it's morning. Uh, early morning. It's approaching no. yeah, early, very early morning. Ah. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, if you, you if you want to follow the um, marks, go ahead, man. We'll follow through. All right. All of you, can you roll uh, perception? Okay. Hi, hi. Ah, 22. Another 15. All right. So... <laughs> Uh, Leona, Vincent, okay, most of you, you notice uh, there seems to be a group, some silhouettes in the dawn light, seems to be heading towards your way. Jam, dawn light is heading where? Eastward? East side. No, the, the dawn light is from the east. Yeah, but yeah. You, you know, you, but the, the thing is, um, it seems to be... Um, the darkness is being dissipating because of its, the sun is rising. But you notice from from quite a distance, it seems to be like uh, some people, is it a group of people or a group of party yeah, yeah. or something yeah. like that, that seems to be heading towards your way from the, the west? The west? From the west. Beneath us, yes. all right. Uh, okay. From the west, that's approaching. Wait, the west is isn't it the the wall? <laughs> the west oh, is wall? downside of us. You're standing on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're standing on the west. west. <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah, okay, wait. Okay, okay. it's, it's roughly to, from the, the the direction of where the caravans and also <laughs> the marshal is. Uh, but uh, west side is still a bit dark, is it? Should be. Yes, it is. Which is uh, why you, you you see some some figures. Can I make uh, how many feet is the distance between the silhouette and us? Well, it is quite a distance. I think it's more about 200 meters, but it's approaching. Around 120. I'll, I'll wait it around 120 to perceive what it is. All right. So you, I think there are, I think there are a bit three, four as you make it out. Some people, some of you can see quite far and you see the figures, there are more than two. Mm -hmm, but more less than, than five. Now you can see more. Now, now it's three, four. Mm -hmm. 
Are they mm -hmm. heavily armored? As you notice, I think around 120 feet, uh, you seem to see there's somebody familiar in front. And uh, yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. And oh, by curse. Oh, there's nibs. And and he is leading a bunch of people that work work. Click on them. Click on them. Click on them. <laughs> Stop clicking me. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> oh, 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 white fools. Damn, he's pretty good. Click, click. <laughs> <laughs> click, click. <laughs> oh, white fools. Nips. Nips. Oh, oh, white fools. Oh. Oh, hello, master. Hey, Nips. Uh, well, good news. After a day of uh, talking and convincing about jobs, I uh, managed to... to get some some people of from the caravans interested to work for for you guys in oh, this endeavor great. no it's not not for us not for you guys it's for us <laughs> well I mean, some I of them are are really 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 desperate for work and for food so just offer them some food and here they are great, seems great. to be like they, they were waiting and hey one thing that's good some of them are from the farm states farmers that was driven out from their homes. Oh, amazing. And so, the good thing about that, they ha they come with experience. Would you oh. like to interview them? Well, I assume that you did you already did, right? Yeah, well, who knows? You want to interview some of them more intimately? Looks at Camille <laughs> and, and Wink. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, well, I'll no. I'll leave you but... guys to that. And then yeah. I start walking towards the body being dragged, following the trail. I'll, yeah, but Nips, come, come, come over here. Come over here, Nips. I, I need to talk to you for a while. And Nips looks around <laughs> and everything. Oh, and exactly. looks, yes. looks at Camille. Oh, you seem to be quite worn out. Well, he's an active man. What can I say? And Nips seems to be quite perceptive in assessing oh what's going on why are there scratch marks on come the over building here. come over here yes. next. We, need to talk. we need to talk to you Ooh, what is this i smell well something burning something some burnt flesh yeah nips yeah to be honest with you remember when i asked you to get some security did you manage to recruit some security Members to help out with the security. Well, they they were a bit on edge. Uh, I have to do more things to do, but there's only much so much I can do for one day. Because as soon as I start feeding some of these these workers, the rest sort of just jump on me, asking for for food and for for work opportunities. So so here's here's the thing. I explained to Nick what happened. The undead and whatnot, and yeah, and, and basically we need to. The equipments are in the house. It was already provided by Commander Daniwa, but we need to make sure everyone leaves leaves the area before five, before the evening, because you know that's where the monster start start to attack. Yeah, Especially more. when we see the mist. Yeah, wow. when we see the mist. So make sure all the workers we do their farming. I pass him the bag of seeds that he gave me previously. Uh, okay. plant, plant, plant this. Uh, Chen Chen will help out. Chen Chen? Oh, god damn it. Chen Chen went away. Uh, what? what? I'm still uh, uh, there. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Le sorry, sorry. Le sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, and, you and Chen Chen. I'm sorry, Chen Chen. I don't think I, I, I'm big enough to, to <laughs> obstruct your view <laughs> from your friend. Do you need me to stab you or something? <laughs> To, 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 uh, um, we had too much fun at the uh, um, at the playhouse. All right. A, a, so, anyway, so, but, but anyway, basically, uh, uh, just you know, plant plant the seeds that uh, you know, that you previously gave to me, and Chen Chen will work his magic, and hopefully we can have some crops to harvest almost immediately. 
All right. So uh, uh, I'll do that. And, uh, I'll do just that. Yeah, yeah and uh, and okay. yeah, and possible to get this. Benton, you're breaking up. Yep. Oh, I thought, I thought it was my internet. I was like, oh no. You were saying? Chen Chen? Chen Chen? Chen Chen? Yeah, yeah, you were saying? Yep. Can you hear me? Very the internet seems to um, be something up. But yeah, uh, you were saying about seeds? Oh yeah, just make sure they watered this seedling as well. Hmm. Just... Alright, what those seeds? Make sure okay. they grow okay. Alright, yeah. okay, that's okay. I'll take that as the instruction. Uh, going. And as you, uh, from from afar, Carl and Chen Chen, you notice one of the the farm workers was swatting Camille's hand away. Pack. And then when how the the worker turned around. Alright, for Leona and Vincent, uh, what are you guys doing? Following the... Yeah. yeah. Alright. So, it seems to be some drag marks that, that goes uh, into... Okay, you, you okay, here at the water's edge, you notice a femur bone that is charred and blackened. A femur bone, is it? Yeah. Hmm, I guess it had no humor. <laughs> Get it? Humor? Boom? Uh, uh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, from what Carl described, burning a body, and yeah, I think this is the right place. Can I make it out that it's being dragged to it, into the water? Uh, well, other than that, that there are certain things that you also notice. There are some um, bits of an ear okay. that seems to be coming from the water and heading towards the shack. Wait, what? What? Well, because it seems to be like something that there are pieces, bits and pieces of... of flesh or something and bits of pieces of whatever the thing is that seems to be heading towards the shack. Oh well, it, you mean it was itself. it fell off? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we were we, we thought it was flopping towards the house. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> it, well it doesn't seem to be moving and here. Mm. Otherwise it'll be just freaky. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, so, hmm, can't say much unless you've got arcana skills to back it up. For <coughs> uh, too less of an evidence or clues for us to take the lead. Unless we have the actual thing, then we can further expand our investigation. Can't see much. Uh, it was a bloated corpse, so we didn't really thought about keeping it aside or stuff. And Carl burnt the body, so that's about it. No, there's nothing much that we can further. So let's head back for now. Um, give me a second. I try to. Check the area around here. Oh no. Uh, is there any foot, footsteps or so on? Like dragging footsteps or so on, anything like that? Yeah. Oh. You you notice there are lots of fresh um because from from the the muddy waters there seems to be traces of several footsteps. More than three if I'm not mistaken. If you can see. Uh well Complete and incomplete footsteps. The footstep that, that seems to be missing maybe a toe or this and that. And maybe there's one footstep and then suddenly there's you see the left and then but you don't see the right. 
what you just so I'm checking around the whole place so they're all over the place yes so there's more okay. than three then like at a time and it seems to be heading the the thing it comes from the water and going towards the, the shack okay uh, I'm gonna do history on this one just to remember okay uh, so you remember nothing. Trying to remember if I saw anybody in the mist. And when I mean bodies, I mean just physical bodies. Well, you were trying to beat a hasty retreat. Well, you may not notice some of the details that you were trying to remember. All right. So don't really notice much. I put my hand into the water and I'll try to check if the water have. Um, is there any arcanely wrong with the water, so to speak? I'll try and help. Can I jam? Are you rolling anything? Yeah, I'm rolling an arc arcana to it's check if there's anything wrong with the water. So, roll arcana. So 12. 12. Right. Well, it seems to be like the it's a cool water, it's cool, but the morning sun seems, start, seems to be warming things up a bit by bit. Seems to be just normal water. Uh, mm -hmm. it's quite, it is quite clear because this is quite uh, away from where the squatters are. And the, it seems to be muddier and, and more... Uh, Dirty as you head more towards where the squatters are, at where the pier is. This is also a river, right, boss? Yes, it is. All right. As long as I have, because I haven't seen the zombies that they are been talking about, so I would I wanted to roll for history if I would have come across or I did come across something on study while I, with my studies. So never mind lah. So I didn't see the actual monsters. Yeah, does not seem to be any traces of magic or anything like that. I think nothing seems to be out of the the ordinary, just normal water. Um, All right. I'll just head back with Luna to the shag. Okay. All right. To the shag, not shag. <laughs> <laughs> Into the shag. It, it, it's not going to be. We are not going at Austin Powers here. Nah, man. Yeah, it's baby, Scooby Doo. Yeah. It's Scooby Doo. Shaggy. <laughs> oh, boys. Oh, uh, that that will be Camille. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah, mm. it's groovy. Mm. <laughs> so, Camille, what are you doing other than uh, molesting the new <laughs> yeah the, help, the hired help? Oh, uh, you should you should uh do intimidate. Telling them if you don't listen to me, you will not get food. Hmm. <laughs> what am I doing? I look around the farm. <clears throat> so anywho, um, uh, while while you guys are doing that, me and um, Vincent will just plan on what to do for today. So, uh, are you guys trying to... What What are your plans for today? We got the letter, so we might as well go there today. Uh, bring up a crew, three men or two men. And then we could head there and try to decide what to do. Or is there anything else? Uh, that's the thing. So, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's, okay. that's... I'm okay with that. That's the initial plan. So... Um, we go up to Carl and ask, what's the plan? What was today's task? Well, I guess we are supposed to... Well, we're supposed to investigate this, no? The weird and undead. But it only appears at night, so... Oh yeah, I'm not so sure. I mean... That could be later problems, because we are sleeping here. We are sleeping here, right? Yeah, we're, we're going to spend the night here. So Okay, so that could be later problem, but what about now? It's almost six and we kind of have the whole day to ourselves. For ourselves. Oh, I'm open to anything, I guess. If you guys want to do anything, I'm open. 
Hmm. Too early. Not sure. Vincent, you got anything? I'm just interested, interested on going to the library since we have the approval. Hmm. This early, eh? It would keep, uh, it would put them off guard. So, yeah, uh, me and you and That's, Vincent, you follow I know me? what is important for us now. What is it? Let us have, have breakfast. Hmm, yes. Let's go to the shack then. We can have breakfast for free. Well, we'll, we'll need Chen Chen to cast his spell. Linton well. Eng. Uh oh, Linton Eng Kor. You got the spell ready? Chen Chen. Chen Chen? Oh. I think it's offline. Chen Chen, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, he did it or he's, uh, something wrong with his communicati yeah. communicating device. <laughs> yeah, maybe connection, probably. Yeah, we need Chen Chen, Chen, Chen or maybe Camille to cast the fun group spell. So, yeah, uh, me and Vincent will just cook. Alright, that, that will be Yeah, it. we need them to cast. Yeah, I wish. Eight hours. So, we need to cast the spell eight hours. What do you need to recast? Why are you, why are you casting? Fine Groove, was it? Oh, yeah, Fine Groove. Yeah. Wait, Camille, Camille has Fine Groove, I think. Camille also has Fine Groove. Oh, how did Camille get Camille? Camille said yes, I think. I can't remember. Fine Groove? Fine Groove. A, it's a bad spell, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bad spell. Yeah, 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 it is a bad spell. He should use it on himself, though. When he visit the, the playhouse. Why? It's not fun. <laughs> oh, I see. Aha. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Giant Groove. Hothzar. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, so you can cast the note. One is the old grown one. The second one is just the eviction. So you you saw Nibs and the farm hands starting to start tilling the land, clearing the shrubs uh, to to prepare the the land. Okay. I try try to help them as well, I guess. Uh, Carl, just a question: Where is your? Where do you? Do you have your friend with you? Yep, yeah, he's with me. Zoom. Hey, that's a fun. Wow. Oh my god. Ah! Blinded. In the bright daylight. Blinded. Or swat it. Swat <laughs> it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. It's spell magic. <laughs> That's that, my, yeah, my that new light works Oh, my damage. eyes! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what is, why question. is it so bright? <laughs> Lantern Archon, if we cast darkness, <laughs> does the light come through or it's totally hmm. dark? Good question. No, uh, the, yeah. the, light, the light will not go through because it's a magical darkness. <laughs> but the Archon is like magical creature, right? Mm -hmm. so it, it's, not, it's not the spell. It, it, it have the spell, but... It, it's not the. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's it's current. How did it? His current light is actually doesn't count as magical. Gem, is it? Yeah, the need is, it is called a lantern icon. <laughs> it is by itself a light emitting diode. I mean, not not a light emitting diode. LED. It's a light <laughs> light emitter. <laughs> light emitting diode. LED. <laughs> it's just a light and light bulb going around. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's not a LED. <laughs> a light emitting diode. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, he he he's he's just he's just gonna be, yeah. He he he's a good boy. He's a protective spirit. So yeah. Yes, yeah, and he'll be and he's blinding people. <laughs> he perpetually sheds bright light. <laughs> bright light, not not dim light. It's a bright light. Yeah, maybe. yeah. I talked to him. I talked to him. He can't turn it off, unfortunately. But he but I can cover him, cover him, cover him up a bit. Just cover him up, no? If it's too bright, cover him up. 
How you ironic that you uh, blind him. <laughs> yeah, you should know. You should buy a, a hooded lantern though. Mm-hmm. And strap it. <laughs> Put it inside. I, 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 I cover him with my hood. The extra hood that I had. So the light will be emit in one direction. Something like that. Does he even have eyes? I asked lantern. Lantern, do you have eyes? It's it's just a bright light. It's just like a light, like a Belonging. floating, flo- floating light bulb. It's yeah, like he, he, say, he says he doesn't need uh he doesn't need and he doesn't need a hole to see. So we just cover it, cover it back. Uh, and then uh the lantern feels like oh I'm just here to use be used for set life. Oh, he's happy to he's happy to surf actually. Yeah, to serve you to become a hero like his predecessor, not to be a lantern. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, he as you it. as you cover it, uh, it still some of the the bright light goes through some of the the fabric, and it, it's still emitting some light. I introduce them to the commoners. You now this is my protective the protective spirit. You have to watch over them, you know, protect you as you as well. Some of the commoners are here. Ooh, bright light. Yes, oh, bright light, holy, good. Do, do I have keychains here to jiggle around? <laughs> no, I don't. Shit. Oh, I do. And then suddenly the communists found in their hands uh, a form. Surprisingly, some of them, yes. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Oh, that's a work, work contract. You just need to sign there. Your soul will be mine, says Akosama. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this is just a service contract. No, don't, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Just a service contract. That's what oh. the devil said. <laughs> that, that one. one. <laughs> I don't know what this is. This what is, is a get rich quick scheme. <laughs> this is Ponzi. No, 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 no. no. This is just. This is just a. Re- <clears throat> this is just an employment contract. <laughs> You pull this again one more time, we all of us will quit. Hunger be them. <laughs> no, I, no, no. I try to persuade, I try to persuade them. Can I persuade I, them? I will not invest in uh, n- NFTs. NFTs are trash. No, 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 no. Let me persuade you again. With help by Archon. <laughs> Look at this Archon. Together. Uh, persuade him. No, 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 no. no. Uh, you, 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 you managed to... Okay, the, the thing is, you, you try to deceive them once. So some of them are looking at you quite cross-eyed already. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, it's just a misunderstanding. Okay. I'm just showing you guys. This is a employment contract. It's an opportunity, not to well, change your future. From afar, uh, Chan, Leona, and and Vincent look at that uh, ruckus being uh, <laughs> unfolding at the the uh, the farmland. So you just look from afar. <laughs> Why do I have a song ready for this? <laughs> so okay, um, Camille, uh, Carl was there. Camille is looking at the bright light. Oh, <laughs> Mills, proper now, right? <laughs> well, some of them, but leave us be. We want to work. And Nips was just saying, leave them to work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are your plans for today? <clears throat> and as the, the daylight um, started brightening the day, you notice there are people, more people going about milling some outside and going out of their, some of the homes and sheds there. Oh, and they seem any. to be moving towards the the pier, the boats. Interesting. Tell tell this to Diona and Sun. And 
One of them has, uh, some of them have nets in their hands, going to to where the boats are. One of them seems to be going to start stitching nets in one of the building, uh, fixing some of the tangled nets, broken nets. Mm, okay. <clears throat> I'll go up to one of the folks and greet them. Good morning. Who are you? I'm well, your neighbor, I guess. Neighbor? Yes. Um, I'm from the farmhouse down east or east. Yes, uh, west. It's been empty for years. Well, uh, seems like. We moved in. You you know anything about the farm's history? No idea. It, it has been empty for many, many years since we first moved in. Oh, so when you moved in, you got no idea who... It was empty then? Hey, it's huh? empty. Any rumors or stories about the place? <laughs> All the people, the folks says, keep away from it. Really? Any Something. reason why? Never wanted to know why. People say it's dangerous to be there. Dangerous to be there. Hmm. All right. Um, do you know anybody who might know of the history of the place? Oi! This person started. Keep away from her. What do you want? Uh, uh, I'm just saying hello. Get! I say get! Get out of here! I'm just saying hello. Um, I'm I'm the neighbor from the farmhouse. You! I, I think you are the one who came by two days ago. Barging and knocking on my door. No, I don't think so. It wasn't me. I don't care. You sound... No, you smell... Like a city slicker. I can smell you from afar. I you smell see. you smell clean. I see. Um where's your house by the way? What do you want? Oh, just Why? asking. Is it this one? And I point. Not gonna answer a funny question from funny people. Alright. Who smells funny? It would be a shame if zombies were to come along and well, do zombie stuff. Have a good day. And I walk away. What? What? What, what the? Care. Hello there. Oh, what do you want? Well, just seems to be this. This person seems to to smell funny. It's like you can smell booze. Mm, see. What do you want? I see. Um, how long have you been here? <laughs> Uh, uh, how long have you been in this area? How long had I had that in me? Mm. <laughs> I can see. Is he sleeping? Seems to be intoxicated. I see. Uh, see. Uh, nope. Alright, thanks. <coughs> Hello, Dad. Uh, when, when did I eat that? And this person, this lady, seems to be busy tending the nets. Yes, what do you want? Oh, um... Who Jen, are you? Uh, I'm your neighbor from the west, uh, at the farmhouse. Farmhouse? Yes. Recently moved in. Yes. I was just what wondering. What can I do for you? Yes. Uh, have you heard anything about the farmhouse history and so on? Ah, I've been one of the first to move here from a long time ago. Oh no. I yeah, see. used to. I used to work for the family there. I see. Um, what do you know of the farmhouse? Oh. Sad story. Please do tell. 
<laughs> well, there seems to be there used to be well off family there. Not not noblemen, but they are quite comfortable there. We they treated us servants like family, if I may say so myself. That's good. What were their names if you remember? I just call him Lord and Lady. Uh, so nothing specific then. Well, why do? You, why are you asking so much? Oh, just because we moved in and we are trying to restart the farm. So it would be good to know a bit more about the history, so we can, well, be ready for whatever comes our way. Uh, are you saying that you are living in in in? Their home? Well, technically it's our home now, but uh, yes, we are. Oh. Praise the Lord. That, has, that place has been empty for so many years. We heard, and we got no idea why it's empty. Um, <sighs> that's a sad story. Uh, I think this is just because of their son. Hmm. <sighs> Um, what happened? What, what happened to their son? He fell in love. What can I say? Ah, uh, c'est la vie. And what happened? And who did he fell in love with? Oh, he fell in love with a young noble woman. <sighs> I already can see where this is going, but please carry on. Uh, why? Why do you want? It's a sad story. Sometimes it's good to know about things like this. It's history and whatnot. And people who say that ignoring history, they're bound to be doomed. Are you sure that you want to know more about this? Oh yes. Um, we're kind of hired to also solve the problem around the farm too. <sighs> it's... it's... Well, the story is a tragic one. The boy, the young man, was head over heels with that young lady. They were, I, from what I gather, the young, the young lady also loved him back, but the family does mm -hmm. not approve. And which noble house was this? Uh, I, I think it's somewhere in the rich quarters in high road back in town mm, all right we're we're working class folks here even though the young man's family was quite well off to be to be honest i think they are quite quite well off but unlike the the high borns they they, they wanted to share their wealth with us they give us employment Good wage and fair benefits. Some bonus from time to time. So sad. And, and, and yeah, and, and, and then uh, from what I heard, suddenly the young lad just disappeared one day. And then the young lady was married to another noble family. Do you know and who the noble family was that she got married to? I do not know all the nobles <clears throat> inside town. They, they kept to themselves those high-born, high-class people. All right. you know, do you know the, the girl's name? I'm not so sure. I think it's... He called her Mina. I think is it yes, Mina? 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 Am I any? Yes, Mina. Yes, Mina. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was yes, Mina. <laughs> yes, Mina. Okay. Yes. She's a very agreeable young lady. Very agreeable indeed. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, I with that name, it's highly doubtable that she'll be disagreeable. Yeah, come to think of it, 
when she do, do come here from time to time, never heard her even say no, even once. <laughs> so basically, it's no me now. <laughs> <clears throat> opinion style? I see. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. But other than that, you got no idea what happened to Yasmina? Why, well, she was married off last I heard. Hmm. Or, or, I don't know, or she even disappeared herself. Oh, I see. Alright, so after the disappearance of the son of the uh, Lord and Lady, what happened to the farm and to the lords? Uh, Master Leonard. Leonid. Benavia? No. It's Leonid Holbrook. Leonid Holbrook. That's a young... Yes, that's a young man's name. The... The one that, that was missing. A, yeah. That's his name. All right. No idea what happened to them. Their pa their parents was searching and searching, and then finally, even they, I think they just one day just the the house was totally empty. One day, no idea what happened. And you didn't take over the farm. We were we were tending the the farm. And then the crop started dying soon after. So that was on the farmland. Now I see that I... you all are fishing. Has that affected or have it affected since then? Well, we have to make do to, to earn a living, to put food on our mouth. So we have to build more. And then, and then other people start coming in. And encroaching to the other land, and then we keep hearing voices inside the the house. Sometimes, oh, um, we were, of course we, we we went to investigate, but no one seems to be there. I see. So nobody or did they say anything? It's just conversations, and then. Somebody seems to be calling out to Leonid, Leonid, where are you? I think it's, it's the old masters and the old mistress voices from time to time that we hear. Hmm. And then when, when, as soon as we rush, we thought they are back. No one's there. Oh. And, and over the years, it fell into disrepair. I see. Thank what's, you. What's, what's the master's name? And his mistress. Oh. It's not Martha, if you are telling, if you are thinking. Oh, Martha and... Oh, what was his <laughs> name again? Kevin? No. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck his name. Is it Uncle Ben? <laughs> Uncle Ben! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, it's been it's been many many years. Jonathan, my memory has started to fail me from time to time. Right. But the young tale of Master Leonid and and Mistress Yasmina is very hard to. I think we we whispered from time to time about their the tragic love story that's never meant to be, and then we we never know what happened to them. Were they just curious? Were they humans? Human or were they elves? They were humans. Hmm. Of course. I think. Hmm. Alright. Thank you. Thank you very much for the story. And um Carl. Ah, yes. You you got yes? you got some change, right? Why don't you donate it some to the folk here? Well, sure, sure, sure. Right. I passed already a uh, gold coin. Don't be stingy. Wow, I've never seen this. Who are you? Uh, we are, we are the new farm owners of the you no know, of the East Grove Farm, which is west. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
which is south actually. Subgroup farm, sorry, subgroup farm which is west. <laughs> East oh, God, farm which is south. Subgroup farm which is west. Oh god. <laughs> Up of here. So, <laughs> yeah. Are you one of those members that abandoned us when one of our children were missing? He looks at Carl. She looks at Carl. Oh, what 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 happened? We uh, we we didn't know what happened. Can you tell me? There were tales on a, a lady that that calls out to our young young boys. Giggity. Goodness. Where 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 where, where does this happen? Right near here, yeah, near the waterways, near the pier, and and whenever this lady started singing and appearing, we have to hide our boys, hide your cover children, their ears. Hide your wives. <laughs> Interesting. We don't want them to disappear. Well, this, we have good. I have good news for you. Me and my friend here, I point to Chen Chen. We are the Midnight Hunters. Monsters and demons are our specialty. <laughs> demons. Wow. Werewolves and whatnot. We kill a few of them. And <clears throat> I dare to say they call, you me, the, they call me... You Carl seem familiar. Oh, really? I am quite famous in this part. I'm quite famous in this part. So. Women look at me with awe uh, and they will... Uh, such a good post. Yeah. I'm not so sure. I think s- several weeks or, or or a month or back, I think several of these people coming in. There's one very noisy paladin walking in and throwing coins at us. Jesus, what w- kind of paladin is that? No idea. And then when one of the boys started trying to retrieve the coin... I think he was ensnared by the, the that that singing lady. That's a terrible paladin. Thank God. And she was she was weeping, and then after that we never see the boy again. My God, this is terrible. Well, you see the media. I've seen you before. I, macam pernah kulihat orang ini, tapi di mana ya? Well, she, she, she reverted to a, a different language. Hmm. Yeah, well, me, me and my friend here, you see, we, we go around the city exterminating monsters and whatnot with, you know, helping the town's guard and commander Danima. We are quite famous. <coughs> Perhaps that's well, one of the reward missions probably you saw us. Oof. We, we've exterminated werewolves, vampires, you know, sewer monsters and whatnot. Yeah, we've done a lot. Gigantic mouse as well. Yeah. You, do you know that there's gigantic mouse hiding in your sewer systems? Like monstrous mouse that can turn you to wear at? Sewer? We don't have any sewers here. Well, in the town, in the city. Can't point to the city. Yeah. yeah, the only thing is that that hole that get, gets out, that goes out from the city into the waterways. I see. It points in the general direction of the pier, where the pier is. Which is here, I assume it's here, right? Okay, Chen, where, what, what are you trying to get inside? <clears throat> uh, it's like he's okay, because I'm just, just like five inch to slap him in the face. Why? Why? <laughs> because we didn't fight any vampire. Um, that you know of? <laughs> I mean, particularly. <laughs> I mean, which is true. <laughs> You guys didn't yeah, fight any like... vampires? <laughs> you, 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 we might have. You didn't know. Ah. Yeah. But as you you are focusing, you are looking at Carl, uh, your inside check is high enough that when the old lady seems to be pointing towards the pier, as she says, about where the... does not have the waterways or sewers, you do your insight notice, yeah, there are some some 
something bubbling in the water near the, the pier. Go there oh, and okay. leave that alone. What that? Oh, well, the thing is, uh, my, uh, um, my lady, I know your name. Huh. You seem to be, yeah, you seem to be very familiar. I think I've seen some of you skulking around before. I cannot put my... Oh, patrols, I guess? Because we were, we were fighting monsters as well. And we were fighting... We were also... One of our missions was to apprehend a corrupted pot master. But apparently he, he's already dead. Someone... Maybe he pissed off a, a gangster or whatnot, but okay, he was uh, dead. Uh, Alright, as uh, you were trying to convince that you are this, that, this, that, and... Okay, let's see. Uh, Chen... You notice, uh, yes, the, 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 there are something bubbling near the waterways, and you notice some. The, the, the water seems to be turning murky around this area. It's as if something, it, something has been coming out from somewhere that seems to be muddying up the waterways. It goes into You're the. You're just going to do investigation. Alright. But this does. Well, something's bubbling, and from there, That's... your investigation inside there, you see it's something like a stone culvert inside there with a grating, with grates inside. Most likely, this is the one of the exits, yeah. yeah, from the town. That's where all the, the murky sewage water is exiting. Can't imagine the smell. Uh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, that's where your investigation leads you towards that. So, uh, what about the others, Morbius? Uh, Morbius and I. Uh, well, Morbius is helping me with Arcana check in the house. Okay. All right. Uh, you were cooking and Arcana ink, <laughs> Arcana checking. Uh, yeah. So, like after hearing the old lady talk about the place having voices. I straight away came here and did a Arcana check with Vincent's help. Okay. And yeah, what what did they find? Uh, Arcana. Okay, this place was old, but was clean uh, recently. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there seems to be a. What what exactly are you trying to to see? What are you trying to detect? Like any spiritual stuff. Or magic, like uh, dimensional, uh, parallel yeah. universal world, something like that. Like some kind of thing that kind of uh, relates to what the old lady said about hearing voices of the lords of the place. As you concentrate on trying to detect any presence or thing, you just notice... There is an, an aura of sadness around this place. It's, it's small, it's cozy. In its heyday, it seems to be clean and comfortable enough with uh, its own chimney, uh, unlike other places. But there is an aura of sadness. Any place in particular that's Feeling this uh, sadness strong, like bed, table, cooking area, anything like that, floor. The <laughs> chimney seems to be of interest. I'll take a look, see, and I'll just tell more. Uh, I'll just give him a rundown of what the old lady tell told me, and then uh, keep him up to speed. Uh, Morb, could you help me with this? This, this chimney. Um, something about it. I'm gonna try and investigate. I I try to roll history. Um, if I have any knowledge that I can do that might help with the situation. <laughs> okay. From my previous studies. Right, I'll just give it a once over. Ooh. Okay, 
Um, Vincent, your studies usually it is something like most likely something tragic uh, that sort of binds something to this place or is it something really really violent maybe that has happened here before okay more or less for investigation um you were investigating the suit leona right mm, at the, the, the chimney yeah, fireplace the chimney. and all those yep uh you were very thorough you are what are you looking into like you you said that the the, the fireplace was a place of interest so just mm -hmm. trying to look for um, first thing, mm -hmm. any signs of decaying bodies or skeletons, um, buttons, or you know, hidden passages or buttons, something like that, or anything that's out of the ordinary. Alright, so you were looking into the, the ash, uh, has been not undisturbed for many years, uh, until recently by all of you, uh, making a fire there to, to warm up the fire fireplace. Uh, as you were searching in and out, you poke your hand, uh, your head inside the fireplace, uh, ensuring that no fire was lighted. Mm -hmm. And then you, you look upwards and you notice something that goes out of the chimney. You see the light. Okay, by now it's day. Mm -hmm. uh, usually the, from, you can see uh, straight to the outside which mm -hmm. is a light lighted but there is something that seems to be protruding inside that place inside the fireplace is going out the chimney hmm. going out uh, yep. am i able to reach it from inside here or do i need to go out so you tr you try okay can you do a dexterity check uh, just text. All right, let's go. Something. Uh, wait, what? The, oh, sorry. Um, give me a second. Let me reroll again with Jack. Uh, Jack off. You want to jack off? No, Jack off. Let <laughs> uh. <laughs> Jack off the chimney. But you don't even have that thing. All right. Yeah. Nine. Plus. Yeah. Nine. nine. All right. So, you managed to to reach for that it is something like a handle or something like that mm -hmm. but it, it seems to be your your tip of your index finger almost reach it but you did not manage to squeeze your body enough to to really touch it even mm -hmm. but you know you almost sense that it's there mm -hmm. almost almost reach it i tell more about it something? Oh, that i feel like there's a handle inside do you think you can um, uh, wiggle it? Like it could be a secret passage, probably. Um, I I try. Do, do you I walk mage hand to like that? I walk closer to the chimney and then cast mage hand. Yes. <laughs> cast <laughs> cast. <laughs> okay. I pull it. All right. As you you casting a witch hand, right? Mage hand. Mage hand, okay. Not <coughs> mage hand. Mage hand. Hand Nice. Okay, you, your mage hand uh, went into the nooks and crannies that, that uh, humanoid hands failed to reach and managed to... You can hear something metallic scrape against the, the rock. <laughs> and... managed to... Pull it through and manage to retrieve it now. Oh, retrieve, alright. Okay. So, what does Vincent ask, get? Yeah, I instruct that and ask the back to me and I'll try to look, see what it is. Uh. Yeah. Now the thing is on my hand and I dispose. It is a rusted sickle. Ah, rusted sickle. That's an odd thing to find inside the chimney. I mean, honestly, that's odd on all accounts. Like, how could it even went up there? Huh. 
you have a, someone a, that can identify. Uh, yeah. It's a rusted sickle that it doesn't seem to be having uh, covered by soot. Hmm. Well, you can see it's rusty uh, at certain places. Uh, as if maybe the snow or even rain and even the elements um, that coming from the outside exposure have uh, token is still on the sickle. Mm -hmm. But it's relatively free from soot. Alright. Okay. Uh, so this is the thing that you said just now? Yeah, I, I saw it. But the thing is, if you take a if you take a real good see a, a look see, just just imagine this place. Nobody has been in here for a while now, like it's totally abandoned, and the rust on the thing does represent how uh, long he hasn't been used. But the odd thing is that the thing has no soot on it, like how things are at a fireplace. It's virtually quote unquote clean of soot. So I try to inspect it if there any arcan traces or magic element that the sickle might have. Or maybe what? something that is reside in it or anything that is out of the ordinary. Well, you use your knowledge of Arcana. It doesn't seem to be anything magical about the sickle. But where the where some of the points of rust lingers, it seems to be dried blood. Oh. Hmm. I see there's some Do you think that that could be the Murder weapon? That's a murder happened here? Well, uh, histories from the townsfolk, what they say is that um, the son of the estate was in love with a noble and they were, it, it was kind of forbidden love and the nobles didn't really like the farm uh, the son of a farmer to be uh, in, in, in relationship with the uh, daughter. So, um, how do I put this? So they just kind of, well, he, the, the son went missing, then the parents, and then the place gone dark. So, yeah, um, either there's foul play or the owners of the place just up and left. Which is highly, uh, highly unlikely because, from what we, from what I know of the uh, people that live here, the owners were also really nice and kind, uh, give good wages and so on. And what happened to the daughter, uh, the daughter of the noble? From what I heard, she got married to another noble in town, and that's about it. Um, the the uh, lady I talked to didn't really go into detail about being involved with um, noble drama. I see. Can I hand this over to Lamnova for further inspection. Sure. I uh, hand the sickle to its uh, Leona. I grab it with a cloth and wrap it up and put it into my bag. And then, GM. Yes. I would like to roll for investigation to investigate the entire house uh, within the floor. Is, if there's any, like, when I knock on the floor, that's like, feel like something empty. Like, something is empty within the floor. If there was anyone uh, were to dig up the floor tiles and then cover it up back. Yeah, I, I'll help too. Like, that seems to be a good plan. Alright, so you'll spend some time doing that. I'll go to others while you are doing that. Alright. Camille, uh, other than, than her harassing some some of the farm hands, uh, are you doing anything else? <laughs> oh. 
Help, help. Help, help. You are helping Morbius, right? Mm -hmm. So, 15, 15 investigation. Camille, you are doing anything? Okay. Okay. Let's go back to Carl. Carl, Carl is in the toilet, if I'm not mistaken. Carl is in the toilet. Okay. Carl is in the toilet. By this time around, the lady has been running. Ah! Why is this form suddenly in my hand? <laughs> no more. Take a what to. Alright. Camille, are uh, you doing something? Camille is typing. Okay. Uh, no, uh, Camille, no, we can't hear you. Can anybody hear me? Ah. Okay, oh, now we can. Set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, okay, I thought we were we talking hear. about in the game. Oh, okay, okay. No, now we can hear you, yes, in real life. Yes, I'm wondering if, so I've been listening in on the conversation. I'm Which wondering if I can probably make better progress if I just go to town and ask around uh, who Yasmina married. Oh, yeah. So you listen to that conversation. All right. Okay. So you are going to, again, split from the party and go into town yourself? <laughs> nah, I'll spare you. Uh, you nah, I'll spare you the misery. Okay. Oh, the misery. <laughs> no worries. But I'll keep it in mind. All right, sure. All right, so Chen, anything else? You were busy observing the the murky water that goes out from seems to be the great the grating from inside under the the piers. Uh, Chen, just in case uh, we cannot hear you. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, you, now do, we can. Do you, do you have push to uh, talk uh, or something? No. No. No, listen, wait. Let me check. Uh, no, like, if you don't have push to talk on, like, um, when you talk, you should push a button. So, I guess that's not there, probably. Huh? <laughs> okay, let's put this. Oh, yeah. My sensitivity just went up. Uh, That's weird. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, can you guys you guys can hear me, right? Yep, yep. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> yes, that's good. Okay. Okay. On the pier. Yes. Right? Can I uh, see anything like uh, maybe claw marks or any like symptoms? Like signs of zombies were there, or maybe the the water. What what do we call that ghost? Like the water ghost? Lady in the water, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, in case you're saying, well, I'm not hearing you anymore. Uh, no, he asked. Um, what was the name of the monster that was in the water? Lady in the water, right? The the townsfolk that you can recognize is the the weeping woman. Uh, the whippy or the whipping lady. Uh, you're gonna... uh, so yeah, I'm gonna investigate around the pier in case like any signs like is there like uh like claw marks or anything on the piers that might lead to the uh indication that the the what what was the lady again? Whipping whipping woman. Uh, the whipping lady. Whipping lady. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the thing is, the the pier is very well used. You it is being used to carry things up. There are lots of scratches, maybe from wear and tear, maybe uh, tools and equipments, or even heavy boots and shoes. Uh, even uh, maybe harpoons being dragged on, or even nets, traps. Uh, Whatever thing, so there are lots of scratches on the pier. So there's no shrine or small like place where they kind of like uh give offering to the whipping lady. No, doesn't seem to be any. It's just normal tools, and sometimes there's a barrel there at the bucket 
well, the bucket is also um, holy, as in uh, have holes in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> in case of that, uh, uh, no, nothing much. I just wait for a cow. I guess okay. I don't know. All right. Maybe All right. a monk going to show up or jump oh on him God. again. We'll close the door uh, and make sure nobody comes in. <laughs> okay, Carl will be taking a lots of time contemplating the mysteries of the universe while the rest yeah, of the listen. people are running away from him. What? Why? Why? Why is he running away from me? Why? I uh, know this. Uh, in that time, yes, Sunday, this. Yes, yeah, she simply noticed a. Uh, a form in in her hand, and started ah, this tapue guy is coming over again. <laughs> oh, weird guy. Hi, Chen. Find anything interesting? I know nothing. You wanna head back to the farm and check out the progress? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, hello there. Stay away from her! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Up and knee. Oh. <laughs> what's up, bro? Why so, why so, why so angry? Hey, SA. <laughs> Told you not to come here. Uh, well, we... Well, why, why you don't want us to come here? You've been bothering <laughs> us, folks. How? Ah. Wasted. Come, stay away from, from these people. Strangers. Stranger danger. Yeah, papi. <laughs> I whispered to Chen Chen. Yeah, they're, 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 they're going to change it soon once the zombie attacks them. Let them just be. And you know what? If, if that happens, we just save the waifu and then we just let the, let the dude die. Perception check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, so uh, while you're doing that, okay, and then Camille is, is uh, listening attentively to lots of things. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for Leona and, and Vincent inside there, you have been moving things around, uh, tapping and checking everything. Seems to be nothing hidden on the floor. The hmm. floor is made of uh, all the mesas and granite. And seems to be solid. Hmm. Guess that carries out the window. Oh, guys, what happened here? Redecoration! It doesn't look like it. Looks like someone raided the home. We needed to get the quote unquote, um, what's this called? Feng Shui. And see if the place has evil energy. You spend lots of time. By now, I think you notice the time is about 8. You spend a good 2 hours uh, going around, investigating, talking, and checking things out. Hey, alright. Seems, you know, seems legit. He seems to be looking for stuff. What I call on Akon! Akon! Ah! My eyes! Akon! I can't detect good and evil here. Check. You can see if we can detect any evil. I put my hood up. <laughs> I just did that. Yeah, I, I, I too do that, but I don't have a icon for that. So, yeah, I, I put my hood up. <laughs> well, that... Okay... From the perspective of the uh, the archon, the lantern archon, yes, there there seems to be good, both good and evil. <laughs> Remember, GM, the archon is smart. Yep, it's very smart. <laughs> All right, just, just, just reminding you. <laughs> yep. God damn it! Give me a second. 
Okay, but we sure you know that is a. Uh, but uh, it's, it's more it's more yeah. attracted to. Okay, where do you keep the sickle? Is it in your hand or is it in your backpack uh, or something? Backpack. Okay, so it seems to be more attracted to Leona's backpack. Huh. Leona, you have picked up something bad. Well, <coughs> not bad per se, more of an evidence. Why? Thank you. Can you point through it to me? My The icon is detecting something nasty in your backpack. So I pull out the wrap sickle and just put it on the table. We found this in the chimney. Oh, okay. That's weird. Oh, God, oh, so and bright. <laughs> and as soon as you see it, the, the, the light uh, totally filled the entire premise. <laughs> oh, yeah. As soon as I you can't... show the sickle there. Oh. Akon, what, what what happened? Why are you so excited? The <laughs> ball. <laughs> it seems to be detecting evil there. Damn, it's something, evil. Something it has been used by for something that is not nice, if I may say so. Oh crap! That means this is uh, okay. If an object, place or object within 30 feet of you has been magically consecrated or desecrated. But we didn't find... Are you telling us as the player or as character? That's uh, both actually. It's the Archon ability. Okay. Just telling that this thing is magically consecrated or desecrated. It, um, but yeah, it seems to be excited uh, because of that. But the thing is, um, Vincent checked it out for any magic tra- magical traces, but there's none. Strange. Arkon, what do you think about this? I don't know, man. This thing has got bad juju on it. It's just... And then with that, it, it simply just started to... undulate the, the lighting as if it is thinking. Just that, what you get the feeling from the Archon is just have that that uneasiness as soon as it sees the sickle. Okay, because, because I can communicate telepathically with my Archon. Yep. Yeah, so I, I just asked him, you know, do you see any undead? Do you sense any undead in this area? In this 30 feet uh, within this house? Um, what you can feel from the Archon is negative. No, huh? I, no, I, 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 no, no, no undead. Okay, I I pat I pat you said good job, Tim. I'll wrap the sickle back in cloth and put it into my bag. Yeah, so you know, be careful with that sickle. It seems to be, I'm not sure. It might not be magical, but it's links linked to a uh, something bad. Hmm. It could be ritual. It could be linked to a ritual, but it's not magical per se. All right. So update on what to do today. Should we just bring this to Lenever, or should we just bring this to the marshal? I would say the marshal. Who said what now? I would say the marshal, I guess. Chen Chen, what do you think? Oh, like, I think it's, it has to be commanded anyway, right? Either because or. Rather because rather than the, ma- the thing because is, in terms of magical items or rituals, marshal might know better than commanded anyway. That's true. Yeah. I mean, we can give it uh, to him for once over, but in all honesty, we do have to bring this piece of evidence to Lenever. And the more info we can get on it, the better. Vincent, what do you think? Well, if the marshal have any knowledge on what evil might reside in there, that's worth a shot. Because I can confidently, confidently say that Lord Lenover has nothing of sort with that. Potential ability. Alrighty then. So, first up is let's head to the Lord Marshal and ask his opinion on this. Maybe he knows what's going on, probably with this evil item. So, <clears throat> alrighty then. So, Camille, are you? What are you doing? What are you gonna do? Hmm. Uh, I just follow. By the way, where is he? 
Um, Where is he? Hmm. He is Then, lo- looking into the some of the the farm hole <laughs> the, that he's supposed to be that's bending over the ah, uh, thing. Uh, looking mm. and looking and looking. Hmm, that uh, I, I I pretend to practice my lute and singing. I sing a farming song. Oh my. Oh, what farming. view? What view? Beautiful view. The sun. People sweating. People working hard. Oh, so oh, nice. Oh man, terrible song. <laughs> But anywho, um, I head out and get ready to head to the marshal. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So all of you are going to the marshal. <laughs> Yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, that's good. I can ask for some armor. Wait, is your armor not the best armor and for disguise. your class right now? No, because an armor and disguise. Uh-huh. So I can go into the temple. Ding, 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 ding. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh-huh, all right. Uh, I, mm-hmm. hmm. What, we doing? We doing sneaky, sneaky? You might be doing sticky sticky. You might be doing sticky sticky. So you left Nips to oversee the the farm works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I tell, I tell you, Nips you, to to immediately you know uh run run away if you see anything weird together <laughs> with the people. Oh my god, that this that thing there like uh a, a person that is dressed in a business outfit is considered weird. Yeah, you know, if if the the people are if the farm workers gonna be Indian, then they should just run away, come down to the refugee. So then the refugee person, person is NFT right. bro. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you all of you kind of notice. Uh, Camille seems to have his eyes on three of the four workers already. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure Camille will keep them safe. Hmm. Yes. And yeah. suddenly he he managed to pry himself away from One looking at them. them further and start following <sighs> the rest of the party, going towards the the marshal. Let's go, let's go. Let's go to the town. So I'm guessing we really reach. Yes. Right. Hello, Lord Marshal. Um, we bring you some items that we could use your expertise on. And by now, you it is about nine. Uh, the journey took some time, and the Lord Marshal is. Looking at the new fortification that's being uh, put up across the the caravan grounds that serve as the refugee camps. Mm. It's a wall. It's... Yep. To keep out fortified, those fortified. Uh, to keep off those Haitians away. And the Lord Marshal was was there with one of his men at arms, and that. Easily saw you approaching and greeted you with a uh, just a nod. Good day, Marshal. We could use your expertise on something. So, I heard you are recruiting people to work. I think this is good. Yeah, I mean the people on the caravan grounds. Could do something rather than nothing, and since we are trying to start a quote unquote farm, uh, it's best that mm, uh, they do something. I think it it is a good endeavor. Mm-hmm. But so, how I, may I help you? Um, could we go into your cabin slash camp? Uh, this I do not have a cabin. I just have a tent. Yes, tent. my command tent. Can we go to your command tent because this item is a bit bad. Okay, this way, and he leads you. Okay, and anyway. I wait. Hold on, Marvin, Marvin supervise please. this. Ah, okay. 
And then he told his men in arms, uh, and then take you take charge. I hold you responsible for <laughs> overseeing this rebel rousers. And he motioned to his knights that it's hard at work. And he calls his knight rebel rousers. <laughs> All right. All right. So we follow the marshal to his tent and I give him the lowdown of what happened at the, the story about the farm and so on. And after all that, I told him about the fireplace and I take out the sickle and put it on the table uh, in, in the cloth and I open it. So yeah, we found this in the chimney. Uh, when we tried to check it with, when we tried to check it with our knowledge of Arcana, Wait, 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 wait. What's that bright light doing here? Ah! Um, he points at the lantern. Ah, come on. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's my... It, it's my new fake meter. It, uh, it's a slasher icon. Mm. I haven't seen this thing. It's not that common around here. Yes, what is it's it? A, it's a slasher icon. It's my fake meter. Archon, you see. Yes. Yes, indeed. Say hi to Commander Lanimer. Commander He'll go back in time. Say hi to the Marshal. Say hi to the Marshal. Do you know how... Do you know what, what an Archon is? Archon. Uh, Do you? Well, yeah. no, not very familiar, but I hear that they are higher beings, I guess. Looks at Chen. You should teach your party members about the hierarchy of the Archon. For you to for for you to to treat it like a normal toy. Huh, pity, pity. You can. I don't think you can impart wisdom. You can only impart knowledge. Oh, <laughs> so, anywho, um, yes. Yes. Uh, to this, the business at hand. Yes. This here, um, we found a sickle in the uh, chimney. And when we tried to check it with our knowledge of magic, we couldn't find anything magical about it. But the Archon, it detected evil from it. So, we're kind of confused. Use. It's not magical, but it's evil. So, what is it? Hmm. Let me see. <sighs> well, it's not magical. I can give you that. But it may be used for evil purposes. Would you say that it could be a tool that murdered people? Well, judging from this traces, this rust, it seems to be like it has been used to cut. And this rust is usually from dried blood. I've seen many of these kind of weapons being rusty all over in the battlefields, the old battlefields and that has been left in the ground for some time. Here's the other strange thing. When we recovered the sickle, there were no soot on it. Like I mentioned before, uh, we found this in the chimney. So mm -hmm. we, we didn't found, we, we found it in that condition without any soot nor dirt on it. Well, that's the case. I think I would agree with you. It has not been there for for long, or has not been there for long, but has not had the the chimney or the fireplace used at all. Hmm. You are correct if you think about that way. I guess it 
could be one of those missing items that the com uh, Commander Lenever overlooked since he was in the chimney. Uh, we, we need to go to him and ask about the item and the rest of the tools that he replaced. Oh, well, you do know that I've been only been here for several months and I do not know the the history of this wherever you retrieve this from, but well, evidence is evidence. True, and whatever info you give us is greatly appreciated and helpful. At least we can tell Lenever that there's no magical traces on it, so that will make his job easy. Well, I suppose so. Well, take it to the police. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you so much, um, Marshal. And you have a good day. And you... Leona, can you roll a perception? Give me a second. Rolling! Ooh, yeah, 22. As you, okay. The, you notice the Lord Marshal, even though he does not move a lot, but he seems to be holding the Lantern Archon in great reverence mm. as he tip his head towards it. Almost nodding. Uh, it's a deep nod towards the Lantern Archon. Now time to open magic and see what is Archon. <laughs> yeah. It's a celestial, basically. Well, I mean, yeah. 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 If they are mm. manifest in material plane, they would took some form like the Lantern Archon as a ball of light. There's several more Archon in the Archon tree. Alright. But, you know, so just, just, just for role playing, I just I, I pretend I don't really know. Yep, uh, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so I'll oh. wrap the sickle back and put it into my bag. And uh, we'll head to Ord's Lenever's office then, just to report in on the sickle. And also to ask a few stuff. So, as you are going there... Mm -hmm. okay. You, as you are approaching the drill field, you saw the Lenovo is there, um, fully armed, mm -hmm. fully armored, overseeing. Yeah, you use. He is more cross in in ensuring that his men are trained, barking orders, scolding them about bad posture, and showing them, and and beating some of the his constables <laughs> with a wooden wooden sword. Oh no. There, you there. You are weak. Give me fifty push ups. Push up, push up, push ups. Oh, you should. And then he he noticed the, the party approaching. And See one of you, he seems to be very glum. Hmm. I'm guessing he already seen two of us. <clears throat> Good morning, uh, Commander. We, we've got some... How's your wound? Seems to be healing well, thank you very much. But... Mm. That's the side. We found some interesting evidence that might open up old cases. Okay, what evidence do you have? Hold on. You! Hold it like you mean it! He shouted at somebody. Say, hold on. Let me teach this boy a lesson. With ease, he just swatted a wooden sword out of uh, that young cadet's hand. See? Mm. You are holding it, you are holding a broom. What do you think you're doing? Do you think you want to hold a burning broom and shouting? <laughs> hold it like you mean it. Hold it with both hands if you are too weak to hold it one. Alright. Yep. What's this evidence you're talking about? Yeah, um... Well, it has to do with the farmhouse. 
um, you have to be honest with us. Where were the previous tools? Did you dispose of them and gave us new ones? Huh? What's wrong with the... What are you asking again? I'm just... I got distracted by that. Hey, Juan! I told you to do squats, not squatters. <laughs> okay, what are you, what are you asking again? Yeah. Um, Damn, no rookies. About the tools, um, the previous tools at the farmhouse. Yes. Um, you replaced the old one with new ones, right? There are hardly old, any old tools there. Really? Well, well um, I think vagrants and vagabonds have taken things from that old shack. I see. Well, you'd be interested to know that we found something that might link to a murder. Murder, you say? Yes. And could we talk somewhere less open? Uh. Fine. Hold on. And he just all of you stand in in a line. Three lines. Make three lines. Give me fifty squats. Hundred push ups. Then he come over here to the corner. Alright. And then okay. So I have to still have to keep my eye on this uh, Yahoo's. <laughs> so while we were investigating the farmhouse, um I found this and produced the uh, sickle to him and handed it over to him to inspect. This was found inside the chimney. And? And you don't find it strange? Proceed, take a look. So There's dried blood on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. And he looks at it and he checks and yes. investigates that. Hmm. Mm. Even with oh. advantage. Yep. Yep. It does seem to be rusted. And it looks old. What do you make of that? Well, the thing is, we've been hearing that the previous owners of the farmhouse were, uh, I won't say murdered, but they went missing and gone. And what do you know of um, a noble woman by the name of Yasmina? Yes, Mina? Yes. Yes, Mina. Yes? That is her name. Mina? Oh. Are you? Ah. Are you referring to this old, old folk tale? Ah. Uh, I didn't know it was a folk tale. Um, what do you know of it? Well, there is that disappearance from the... Previous owners, I think the the whole Brook family. Mm -hmm. Their son named Leonid. Yes, young Leonid. Hardworking young man. So Quite you, honest. You know of him. Well, he well he is very interested to join our guards. Hmm. I think it was during my time when I first started. Uh, here, I think after I, I retired from adventuring, he wanted to join the the, the constabulary. All right. But the, yes, but the parents don't want him to join the constabulary and wants to continue with the family business and the farming. But he's an upright young man. That's what we heard, and fell in love with 
a lady or a nobleman by the name of Esmina? Well, I think because he sneaked in and joined the, the patrols near the Wall Street and Fields Lane, I think that's where, well, that's what they heard. They was what he, uh, the 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 tale keeps going. <coughs> that's why he bumped into this strapping young lady. Hmm. All right. Yeah, the commander at that time just says about that. Hmm. So I was not a commander yet. Were you on patrol with um, Leonid? No, heck no. Usually, I'm, I'm just advising some of the strategies. Yeah, they use, they use my experience from adventuring to, to train this, yahoos. Hey you, I count only sixty nine. Kigiri, nice. Okay, coming uh -huh. back to you. What are you saying? So. We're trying to piece the puzzle together here about the farmhouse because um, from what the locals were saying that sometimes they can hear voices coming out of the farmhouse and yesterday they were zombie attacks or well, technically a zombie attack and uh, later on a few zombie uh, appearance or marks were all over the house with scratches and um, drag marks. You seem to be a monster magnet. Yeah. Part of being an adventurer. Are you sure you are not cursed or something? Not that I know of. Yeah. And I feel that if I was... And what is that bright light going... Hovering all, all over you? Where are you Meet me, Timmy. Meet Commander Larryber. Say hi. Turn that thing off. <laughs> Timmy is from Celestial Alcohol. Let me try to do something. Nope, it's not turning off. <laughs> uh, snapping the sword. Try clapping, try clapping. Oh. Clap on, clap off. Clap on, clap on, clap on. No, it's not turning off. <laughs> so, I put me in my head. And I asked I, I told him the icon. Say hi to him. Commander Lennimer, this is Timmy, my familiar. Well, don't get too familiar with me. <laughs> two different reactions from two different people. Yep, I like it. Oh, oh I, I just met Timmy. I was like, oh, okay, Timmy. Yeah, oh, yep. But I think it's... And, I, I, I'll dismiss Timmy lah. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Dismiss. Yeah, but I, I, okay. Okay, okay. Get it. That thing is a bit distracting. Too bright. I can see the light. Mm. It's, it's just like <laughs> I see, I'm seeing two suns. I can see the light. Anyway, uh, I think the the lady's name is Yasmina uh, Abramovich. 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 God damn it. This is also immediate. Uh, Abram is Abramovich. Is, is, yeah. Uh -huh. So, the Brimovich uh, family, their... Oh, base, oligarch, the Russian oligarch. <laughs> so, they're... Are they still in town? I think the Abramovich family has... has... Am, am I familiar with this name, GM? Ruling history? This should be old history. Yeah, that's old history. You are really old history. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Ruling the history. Recall if I have come across with this name. The lineage of that name, Abramovich, is quite exotic. It's not, uh, it's not that well known around these realms. Mm. All right. Wait. The Abramovich is her maiden name or the name of the family she married into? Uh, oh yeah, that's good. That's her maiden name. Ah. Hmm. I'm more interested in the family she married. That's also oh, true. that's a good question. Yeah. Married? 
Oh. Did she not marry anyone? Well, if she's married, that would be a celebration. So far, it's been quiet. After that, that young chap, maybe heartbroken, just went away. This lady Yasmina is just as heartbroken and stayed in house. And then later, I heard that her family just moved away. Hmm. Do you, Do you know any? Uh, do you know the place that we they they went to? They moved away to. Yes. No, no, no one knows. It's just that suddenly, yes, they just packed up and went. That's all. That's what the the news goes by. Hmm. Mm. I'll... Ah, right, I said 100! I count 95! Hmm. Weaklings! But anywho, um, should we hand this over to you for evidence or we'll keep it? Alright, I'll take it as evidence. But evidence for what? Foul play, murder probably? I mean... We found it hidden inside the chimney, so if somebody accidentally cut themselves, they wouldn't really put the sickle inside the chimney. It feels like somebody put it there just to hide it. Ah, very well. Alright. Yep. Keep it covered. Give it to me. I'll put it into evidence as soon as I whip this. Bloody fool! Told you! Quartz! Alright. And I wrap up the sickle and hand mm. it over so to him. So to double check, uh, Yasmina didn't get married, correct? Looks like it, by the sound of it, yeah. Okay. But this is from 30 years ago. Well, uh, she didn't. if she did marry, she didn't marry anyone from Daggerford, right? Yeah. The house has been left for the uh, the Abramovich's house has been left empty for for many many years until recently though. I'm guessing the person that moved in was Lady Amelia. You are very sharp. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. All right. Uh, I, I guess we will get out of your. Here. Um, yes, th thank you very much, uh, Commander. Yep. Keep me updated on on this thing. Um, yes, we will. If yeah. there's any resolution to this old mystery, I also would like to know. I think this has become a, an old folk tale or an urban legend. Yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. You you, you know about the urban legend of the. Crocodile in the sewers. Oh, that's true. No. Well, it sucks to to be there, if you know what I mean. Yep. Uh, let's just say that being down there is not fun. Yep. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. So oh. we move away. What when do we do? Okay. Hello. Wendy. Hmm. Well. Ah, damn! I tried to recall how many rich noble people hang out at the playhouse. Yeah. Also, okay, that's one plan. <laughs> um, Carl, what do we plan to do? Um, should we? Go with our initial plan or something else? Yeah, let's just go with our initial plan, I guess. I mean, right now there's nothing we can do. Alright, so, so who's going be in? This, uh, but and you want to go to the uh, library, right? Yeah, and but, sorry. by this time around, Sally Chen Chen just realized in the distraction of uh, caused by 
the lantern archon, he forgot to ask for the disguise. Yep, about to point it out. Yep. Chen 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 Remember yes. the first the first mask that we have? You like to you like to wear? Oh god. <laughs> Dio <laughs> What would you like to wear the Christmas mask? Yeah, the mask. What Christmas? Uh it's it's a long story but I'll shorten it. Uh we fought someone named Joffrey and he was wearing a mask. Uh, it fell off and we kind of procured it. Uh, we got a friend named Shadow who put it on and suddenly disappeared. Not anything with invisibility or that. I mean, like, he literally disappeared. Um, One day he was here, the next day he was not. And then some people found him in an alley beaten up and bloodied. And from what he told us, he can hear voices coming out of the mask. Like, it's communicating with him. Interesting. May I have a look? Look at Chen Chen. I shall pass. I shall pass the mask to Vincent. Okay. I took it and put it back on it and try to put it on to, to hear whether I can see <laughs> anything. Go, 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 go. Oh, you inspect the mask, okay? Mm-hmm. And then I put it on. Thing like the they describe. And you hear what? Yusuf Tayo. <laughs> so far, it's quiet, but uh, the mask is cool to the touch on the outside. But as when you put it on, it seems to be warm. Interesting. And... I took it off and asked, do you guys know what this does? From what Not we really. remember, um, it, uh, from what uh, Camille um, found out, it does give protection on the, uh, to the wearer. Is there any other effects? Not that we can... For C, uh, besides the voices that our previous friend said, but other than that, nothing much. Hmm. Okay. Other than just give us protection. Mm, okay. Do you guys want it back? Yeah. Because, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, you need an hour to get acquainted with it the tune you mean yes okay then i give to whoever wants it back lah it's just chen chen because he has already been attuned to it i thought he did when he was resting in the glacial ground something like that no he didn't attune it yeah did you attune it i tried to wear it but yeah and the glacial ground okay he didn't he did try to write. Yeah. Yeah, he did attune it. Yeah, I gave him like. So, Chen Chen's attune to it, is it? No. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not attune to it because oh, I tried it. to wear it, doesn't give me the armor. So oh. I just uh, put it back. Oh, so bag. basically, you did it attune to it, that's why. <laughs> that's why. It's like being at Maggie Ma. What do you want to do? Yeah, this is well, we have time to attune. Yeah. I got time to attune the bracer of the uh, mm. protection mask. Yeah. Yeah, right? The bracer. How is with Vincent? Uh, I'm wearing yeah, the bracer. You're attuned already, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I'm not wearing any armor. Oh, okay. That's why it's, if I have uh, the effects on me. Mm. Okay. So, Chen Chen, you can have that as your camo Disguise? Your- Ice, uh, I guess. I I look. Uh, <laughs> I have something safer if you need, if you want. I'll take a good uh-huh. look. See at Chen Chen. Like okay, mask on. Uh, shirt of his deity on. No. 
That's why. Right. Like, how, how, yep. how, how, how about you change your clothes? No. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, previously, you were not wearing armor. You are not wearing scale mail. Now you're wearing scale mail. So they might not recognize you. Take off, take, take off any emblem that you have. That, no. That have of, of your god. That feel good allow that. Dang, dang, dang. I hide, hide it, hide it inside your body. That feel good allow that. <laughs> Then he gave a rule. That's my god favor. That. Oh my god. <laughs> Roll religion. I can, I can feel the GM but <laughs> The GM just predict pro religion. <laughs> Roll religion. 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 Dude, really? You really? Don't you roll that uh, much? Oh god. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I... Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 16, 16, not bad. 26 would be better. Yeah. Well, you, 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 you feel trepidations as you, you think, is, is this right or not? Or am I on the right track? Or am I being led astray by all these other yahoos around me? I didn't say in my, anything. In my... <laughs> yes, not <gasps> saying anything is also... Uh... I even double check if it's okay <laughs> with his god or not. So I'm cool. Yeah, it's actually cool. Don't worry, don't worry. It's good. And also, Camille is offering yeah. costumes and a disguise kit. Yeah, uh, that's much better. <laughs> yeah, Camille yeah, has a disguise kit. You can wear that as well. Just hide, just hide your gods. Uh, anything related to your god inside your... Oops. That okay. should be fine. So, uh, Camille, you will let yeah. Cam- you will let Camille uh, disguise help you disguise yourself, right? Yep. Okay. So, um, I think after some time, it's quite possible that you manage to read any semblance of how you look ordinarily. You even look. Human. <laughs> uh, all right. So, okay. are you go- uh, all of you going to the church? I guess we are. <laughs> okay. So you are taking uh, down there, and you walk around high road. I put up my hood. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. Also. The. In front of here. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, that one. Yeah. It is for Carl. You you remembered the the sign signboard here mm. is called tidbits and knickknacks. Oh, when yeah. You, yeah. It's a different signage. What? It's what a merchant's guild. <laughs> I swear there was a shop here. What the? Yeah, it is a shop, but it's a merchant skill. Yeah, I mean, oh, it was called TV inside knickknacks, and there was a grumpy old man inside. It could be a pop up store. No, 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 it, it was an old store. I swear it was an old store. It's weird. It's supposed to be here, but now it's the like guild merch. Guild. Hmm. Isn't it always been. Merchants killed? No, it was it, it was Nick Bigs and Tic Tac. But oh, well, I recall when I passed by and look around the town from the beginning that I get, got here, it was Merchants Guild from the beginning. Yeah, first, uh, isn't it Yasmina? Yeah, yeah, Yasmina. Typo. Okay. Mona. Yes, Mona, yeah, Mona, Mona. <laughs> it's no Mona. <laughs> uh, right. I didn't do Akira Chapter. Nope. Hmm. Huh. That's weird. I... Huh. Okay. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't recall anything related to this. Hmm. That's pretty weird. Did I, did I miss... Did I misremember the place? There's a lot of good stuff there. No idea, man. And I remember, GM, from the first time I... I uh, came across uh, walking around this tree. What yes. the name was? Uh, merchant's it, Guild or TV Zone Night? It's, 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 it's a Merchant's Guild. Yep. From the beginning. Yeah, 
I told you. Yeah, I saw. I saw. I saw when we were here. It was lip mix and tic tacs, right? Remember? Um, I cannot be okay. sure what you see. Camille <laughs> touches the store. Uh, touches the store identify. Touches the store or the signboard. The store is still the same. You oh, okay. Alright. Then whatever any spells are affecting the item. Um. Oh, there is traces of dimension door. Hmm. Fascinating. Wow. And the door of that, as you touching there, and then the door to the thing open, the store open. And out came. What's that? What? Anyone? What are you doing here in front of the the guild? Do you need anything? I saw you loitering there, pointing and pointing and pointing. Sometime. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Carl, this is all you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh nothing. I think we. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing actually. We just we were, we we're just looking for some stuff. Do you happen to have uh, any any uh, items used for the summon familiar spell? Magical. Yeah, this yeah. is just we are just a merchant guild, and if you need any anything for merchantile or anything, just come into the store and don't just loiter in front of the store, pointing in that it's. A bit unnerving looking from the inside. Oh, okay, okay. Because I was just wondering, you have this, uh, this incense and this uh, charcoal and you know, and this chalk. Uh, no. Those things sounds exotic. Don't think we have any of that in store. Yeah, being mm. a merchant, have you ever heard of this knickknack store somewhere where you can get exotic stuff? Huh? <laughs> Uh, we don't have that. I don't. Nick snacks. What are you using? Nick. Nick snack. What? What? Tidbit. What? No, I have oh, never heard of that before. No, never heard of that before. What's the name of the store, Vincent? Tidbit. Tidbits and Nick snack. Mm. Yeah, like uh, yeah, that one. No, that sounds like a candy store. Sounds like a lingerie store. Hmm. Mm. Well, whatever it is, uh, I do think you. I think you are in the wrong place. Are you sure you are in the right place of town? Hmm. Not sure. I'm quite high. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You do seem high. High. Hi. <laughs> so, sorry to have bothered you. Um, we will be on our way. Uh, okay, just come come to business. Just don't don't loiter in front of the store. Uh, it's kind of unnerving. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sorry about that. All right, so, so and you go there. Yeah. All right, so give me a second. Dang. Perception check. All right. Do I? See See, Camille tried to go into the Grand Play house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Camille, what are your intent? Ah, I can probably tell everyone that. Uh, give me a few hours and I'll probably get a clue if I go into the playhouse. Uh, or, you know, a whole night. Because, you know, I think rich people hang out there. I, I, think. I, I like the plan. Um, less people at the library would be better because it put less attention to us. Ah, uh, it's okay. The playhouse is 24 7. Hmm. People go there at night, anyways, after work. You know, rich people. Alright. Uh, if you do go in, I support that plan. So, yeah, either or. <clears throat> so, yes. Family does not go into the playhouse. Alright. GM roll 9, what is it? 
Oh, I don't think it. Never mind, never mind. Oh, God. So, yes, yeah. we have arrived. All right. It's, it's, you need to mine. <laughs> of course. All right. Just a D20, man. Mm-hmm. Good thought. <laughs> Okay, so uh, all of you are heading towards the the church. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, before entering the church, I find a nice place to disguise. Yeah. Um, I'll just tell Vincent to do the same, and I tell Carl when we arrive there, bring out the archon. I'll just hood up. Always. All of you are approaching the the temple of Latanda mm-hmm. from there. So how is the situation that we 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 really in? No questions asked. No, this we is just the main entrance. entrance. Ah yes. All right. And, so, and as usual, uh, there is also a line. Uh, it's still there's a soup kitchen there, but. Not that many people going into the the entrance of the church, <coughs> the main the main foyer of the church. Mm-hmm. Okay. You see a <coughs> priest there. Mm. All right. Seems to be familiar. It's like the that previous person is still there. All right, and I message to Carl, telling him that uh, bring out the archon and tell him to go, uh, tell him to illuminate uh, right behind me. Why am I dark? Wait, what? Oh, no, um, go down. Scroll down. Um, I am at the bottom. Uh, uh, loading, I guess? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, scroll, scroll to the left. Alright. Oh. No. That's a glitch. Okay. That's a glitch in the matrix. Oh, no. Oh. Yep. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, Carl, can you pull out your archon? Or does the GM need to do that? Ah! It works! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This one so as uh, I approach the priest, the archon is right behind me and so is my entourage. Oh, it, and it's, I, like a, it's, it's, like a, it's like a halo. Yes. Is it? <laughs> yes. Hello. Oh. <laughs> so um I approach the priest. Yes. Um we need uh, we are here to gain entrance and investigate the place for the Lord Marshal. The Lord Marshal? Is 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 that an Archon? Yes. Oh, the holiest of holy. I I've never thought in my lifetime I can see I can encounter one. Consider yourself lucky then. Now, open the door. Uh, uh, e- e- even so, may I ask your, the purpose of, of your visit? The Lord Marshal asked us to, well, take a look, see around, because he has been hearing rumors that you're not letting anyone into the temple. Uh, but uh, I- I- I'm just following orders. And whose orders are yeah. those? Of course, it's the high priest. The high priest. Do you think Latenda would appreciate nobody worshipping him? Uh, uh, I, he keep, okay, the, the priest keeps looking at the Archon fancifully. <laughs> say, yes! I love, like, when, I love when the goes to yes. <clears throat> We have a letter. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. May let the priest be. Just uh, he, as soon as you see that, he seems to be holding his the palm of his hands together and seems to be praying, <laughs> and looking at the archon. And as the as the archon hover past him, <laughs> just ah uh, yes. All right. Um. So, whisper to Shed. Uh, 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 Alright, uh, hmm. one thing. Uh, 
Vincent, mm-hmm. can you roll a perception check? All right. Seventeen. Nice. Yeah. You you seem to notice that Carl is a bit seems to be left behind a bit and seems to be a bit jealous. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It is his Archon, but Archon seems to be moving <laughs> forward <laughs> and getting that. I mean, it's all for the greater good and the plan. So I was and, sorry. And, and and Vincent also noticed the the priest is not even looking at Chen Chen. Good. <laughs> the the eyes is totally transfixed on the Archon. Okay. Good, good, good. So, um, with that, I message to uh, Vincent and tell him to find a place to disappear while I'll be distraction. <coughs> Fly back. Wait until we get into the library. All right. So anyway, uh, we head towards the priest. All of you can hear gasp inside the uh, the main foyer, the grand the the grand foyer. Seems like <clears throat> yeah. this is a temple of light yes. of the morning lord, but then this is a blinding light. <laughs> More brighter than the morning lord. Yep. So anywho, um, I'll just wait for the lantern archon to catch up. <clears throat> and as if people are holding their breath and looking at that. So yeah. Um, oh wow, that's so <laughs> bright and it's blurring out the turn. Uh, Can. <laughs> so anyway, um, I I go up to the priest and uh talk. And to... The acolytes are are dropping. You can see uh, acolytes left and right are dropping to their knees. Like, With arms outstretched, as if looking at the the coming of the uh, the morning lord himself. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll head to the priest and ask the priest, who's in charge here? I am overseeing this foyer. Uh, I'm talking to this one, right? Yes. All right, because the icon is not there. <clears throat> But anywho, <clears throat> yes, I have been instructed by the Lord Marshal to investigate why you haven't been admitting people into the temple. Uh, it, it, it is under orders. By uh, who? Is 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 that our Lord that came himself? I don't know. The tender might be pissed off that nobody's worshiping him. It is a, an archon. In the flesh, I mean, in, 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 in its all its glory. Yes, be lucky that you live to witness it. Now, tell me, the Lord, the High Priest Boris, he said no. He said no one should enter. He didn't say that no one should enter. He said it's just that. Heightened security have to be followed. But There has been some disturbance. But this is a place of worship. Point. It it is it is it is it is it is it is. So you are not admitting anyone to worship the tender. This way, this is the where the main altar for worship is. Right this way, if you, if you may. Also, people are complaining that they are not getting guidance by the tender and his libraries. Where is the library, by the way? The library is also through this, this altar. Of the tender. Here. Yes, dear. Yes. Ah, huh, all right. Ah, oh, that's all. All right. Okay. Yes, I, I went in there. Yeah, he was in there. That's what I'm wondering. Okay, anyway, um, yes, uh, show me the place. Of course, of course. 
I will personally show you this. Wow, you bring the light into this. This temple of lights. Uh, perception in this area. With advantage because it's so bright. <laughs> <laughs> also, with disadvantage when hiding. <laughs> this event, anything hiding is disadvantage. <laughs> that is true, that is true. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Your your perception, you okay. You notice the altar is 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 very apparent in front of you, mm -hmm. and that there, there is an inscription at the altar with your perception with advantage <laughs> because it's so right. lighted. Right. <laughs> See? It's even brighter than the lanterns. <laughs> Uh, there is a an inscription there. Only the penitent may pass. Penitent may pass. The what? Penitent, this you say? Ah, uh, there we go. Come on, now you got. Only the penitent may pass. Oh, now time to Google search that. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, feeling or showing sorrow or regret for having done wrong. Oh god, that's not me. Shit. What? Uh, okay, sorry. Um, after googling it, uh, it means uh, feeling or showing sorrow or and regret for having done wrong. Repent. Or in noun, a person who repre, uh, repre, repents their sin and in the Christian church seeking forgiveness, forgiveness from God. <clears throat> All right. So go up to priest. So you say the library is in here? Where is it? Only the high priests have access to that. I do not know. It's just that we were told the entrance is here. Hmm. Alright. Now, tell me, show me where the high priest is. The high priest is in meditation. I'm sure he'll see me. Come, let's go. Carl, okay, you are. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm trying to look for the secret door or the button. I sure it has to do with statue. Try to move a bit with the statue's uh, sword or shield. I'm sure by praying to it, it will move. <laughs> Not praying. Pray to it, Carl. Pray to it. Pray to it. <laughs> Pray to it. See, see, see if that's actually a switch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All of you. Um. Mm. Let's see. Perception. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, something. All of you, can you roll uh, religion? Religion. Alright. All of you. Uh, okay. Funny enough, I'm good at religion. <laughs> what? Uh, how did that happen? Oh, oh yeah. Re really, oh, Leona. religion. <laughs> okay. One thing. Uh, that, okay. Uh, Leona. Mm. Your... I have no idea where that, that comes from. Okay, you have no idea where that comes from, but you, you kind of remembered. Penitent people usually kneel when they pray. Mm -hmm. I'm my nanny. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll try and kneel and put my hands together and... Oh god, um, I'll try and roll for investigation. <laughs> Fuck yes! <laughs> As you kneel, you investigate. You found in there is a ledge under 
within that inscription and as you kneel as you kneel the latch is right in front of you mm -hmm. and do you push the the that latch there uh yes i'll push it <laughs> god damn it <laughs> nice nice Wait, 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 yeah, what, what happened to the statue? It just disappeared? It, the thing rolled under a pedestal and then it unveils that. I think the, the statue rolls. Okay, let's see. I have to draw this <coughs> on the three hand. Oh, so the statue, wow, the it's so bright. It goes this way. Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> okay, okay. okay. I, th I thought the statue yeah. disappeared. I was like, <laughs> I thought it was a magic <coughs> statue. <laughs> Oh, okay, the, and then the priest, you can hear the priest gasp. I never knew that it's there. Yes, only those who are loyal or loyal to the tendon will know it. But then anyway, you move in. I'll... As I enter and lost. Uh, the priest lost sight of me. I'll I'll uh, I'll go in uh, front of the priest uh, to try and cover your entrance, and I'll just say yes. As I enter towards the stag well, the, and the, then, sta the stairwell seems to be leading up. Ah, oh wow! As I move in, and then the assuming that the priest lost sight of me, I'll cast invisibility onto myself. Okay. <laughs> uh, technically, man, this is gonna be hard because everything that's sneaky is at disadvantage, and everything is with perception is at advantage. But um, we. But doesn't invisibility the light pass through me? Kind of. We also, it's an archon's light, not the holy light of the temple. <laughs> so... The archon doesn't move in, the towards the stairwell yet, right? Yeah, no, no, no. Um. Uh, I messaged to Carl telling him to put the Archon near me. <laughs> so to blind the priest. Oh, he's already blinded. I mean... No, I mean like more blind. Ah! Alright, right, let's put him there. Alright, so at the back of your mind is as if like there is some 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 weekend guy singing blinding lights. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> So, anywho, I say to the right. priest, yes, um, it is with great honor that the standard uh, show us the way. Yes, yes, we can hear you. What happened? Yeah, very slow. Yeah, uh, Camille, he can barely hear you. Yep, uh, could be a bit louder. It just sounded like when we are playing Phasmophobia oh, and there's yeah. the ghost to the ghost box. Yeah. To the space yes, box. Yes. One, two, three. Okay, better. But slightly better. Below, yes, like. That's, that's one, two, three. Yeah, uh, what happened? Uh, I plugged in my headphone. Ah, uh, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure which is the microphone, the phone or the headphone. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. We 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 will work with that. So anywho, um, do, 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 yes, um, yes. Consider yourself lucky to discover this. Now, <coughs> um, while I'm talking, I hope Vincent managed to do what he wanted to do. Yeah, GM. Yes. I'm already up the stairwell and turned invisible. Okay. Sure. All right. Okay. You managed to dart into the <coughs> the the stairwell. Going, moving up, mm -hmm. as the and you cast your invisibility. Okay. Alright. So anyway, yes. So how how about rest? Uh, I I'll tell the priest. Uh, he's lucky to have witnessed this, and come, join me to see the library. So you're telling the priest. Yes, to join us to go to the library. Uh, while, uh, hoping that Vincent is far enough to have some distance away. Okay. Alright. And. To that, the the priest says, uh, usually for us, we have to, to seek the high priest to go to the library. 
You don't see this as a sign from the tender? If you insist, yes, I will. Come join us. And we go up these stairs one step at a time. While we are hoping Vincent will take three steps at a time. <laughs> I'll not <laughs> it. I will talk. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. <clears throat> So let's go up one step at a time. <laughs> and okay, let's see. <coughs> Where does it go? Wait. Nice. Okay, so we'll wait for the map to fully load while Vincent gets a head start from us. <coughs> Oh, there we go. Hold up. Map fully loaded. Okay. Uh, give Vincent time to set up. And he's invisible. Oh. Yes. Okay. All right. So, yes. Um, <clears throat> let's... Okay. V uh, Vincent. Yep. One thing. Uh, can you roll perception? All right. As you darted into this library, can you roll a perception check? 16. You sense a... You have a feeling of dread as you enter this, as if you were being watched. Okay. As if uh, you are not sure, but th there is like um, something that is uneasy. Jang, 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 jang. Can I pinpoint the origination? <laughs> no, you are not sure. It seems to be within this compound, but you are not sure. Uh, across where you are, you you see books and books and books, rows and shelves of books. Okay, <clears throat> I will start skimming on the book to find to see to find the books that I wanted. <clears throat> All right. There are a lot of books. Now, okay. skim through every spine, not okay. book books. Okay. You skim through the spine, right? Okay. Uh, it seems to be um, segregated by topics. And okay. there are some things that you can... Uh, aspect of the deities. Uh, it is something that you, it is more like planar studies. History okay. of the realms. Okay. Uh, art of warfare. Mm -hmm. Artifacts and enchantments. Mm. Eldritch law. And there are some, some books that are open. Uh, My Journey Through the Quasi-Elemental Planes. <laughs> a biography <laughs> journal by honoring the fearless. Mm. Uh, Is there any books in particular yes. that interest me towards my study, study focus? Well, the there, that is, there is one thing that's called the Zoom, a love story about two quicklings lost on the material plane. Mm. Oh. I just feel that I will try to investigate. And uh, while just where, me, I will where, where you are, there is something called, there is a book titled How To Craft Necklaces and Other Jewelry. <laughs> uh, for dummies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll just move around and skim through the shelves and I will roll <laughs> investigation to find the book that I'm interested to, to to further on my study on the, the oh. thing that you know. On? Okay. On the thing that, that you know. know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if if he would have told us, I could have just asked the priest. Uh, but no. Or right, anywho. Archon, on to me! Because we need to... Uh, I need the to ball. be the center of attention. <laughs> like, literally, yeah. literally center right. of attention yes. on me. Yeah, okay, I, more I, I, Okay. I, I, oh, sorry. I, I'm just gonna look through all the books here. Yeah. yeah. How about Archon? So together, we are looking through the book. I did the investigation check. <laughs> oh, the, uh, most of the books that you are there is talking about chronomancy. Chronomancy. Time magic. Any, 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 anything good? Is there like a manual, monster manual or something? Uh, there is one book that's called How to Summon a Demon Prince. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at that. 
How not to summon a demon? Oh, cro- wait, Remember cro- that anime? Chronomancy? Or, wait, what? Chronomancy. Chron- chrono? Is it Chrono Time? Chro- yeah. yeah, Chrono Time. So, why is a summon demon spell in the time book section? And that's why, it's interesting. So, let's take a look at it. Uh, take a look at it. Because it's an Isekai. Uh, I'm I'm more interested in the how to manipulate time by Dio Brando. <laughs> I I I I'm just looking at it because I I do business business deals with uh demon princes before. Mm, okay. Okay. For Chen Chen, uh, hmm? you saw a book called The Legal Code of the Nine Hells. <laughs> no. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, GM, this is how yeah. we're going to do it. I'll go to each shelf and I'll roll an investigation to see what I find. Alright. Oh. oh, that's going to be annoying. So, is there any artifact in the library? It is it's full of books. And then there's this priest. Oh, what, what, there's a priest. A priest what are you doing? What, what are you doing? What? Archon to me! Why are, are you running around? Why is this is the great li- this is the great library. Yes, yes, yes. Why are you acting like children inside the great library? They're smitten by the books. Anyway, could you tell me about the Lord, library? Lord, Lord, have mercy on me. Oh Lord, I, grant me the strength to smite and smack I, all I, of I, this. I grab him. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I grab him by the shoulder. Oh, okay. Listen what? to me. Yes. Could Carl, you... can you roll a perception? Carl, perception. Oh, okay, give me a second. Okay. I uh, takes a while to load. Sorry, yeah. Alright. Okay, no problem. Oh, I can just roll a d20. Okay, uh, start. Oh. Okay, alright. You do notice something. But, at the back of your mind, is as if this, your Archon... Seems to be going to away from the center of the room. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't notice it. Mm, all right. Let's look at the Demon Prince <clears throat> book. Okay. Uh, the Demon Prince, okay. Um, Did you not know uh, that uh, because uh, this uh, was my information, right? Uh, no, how to summon a Demon Prince is there at that. Uh, where Carl is. Okay, uh, where... Where Vincent is, is about that uh, artifacts and enchantments. <coughs> There's no books in particular of my subject of interest. Uh, um, well, something about the artifacts. Uh, it is something that, that is of interesting to you. Uh, okay. Uh, there is called the Soul Ring. Oh, Chen, what are you investigating? Uh, anything like uh, books. Interesting. It's, this is a table, right? Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, any book left open? Oh, yep. Uh, <coughs> the, anything of interest? Of, the, 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 interest candle of that, yeah, yeah, the, the candle that is... is is lighting it is lighted and there is a book there that is talking about okay uh, the book of aberrations and it's on the topic of details of fine uh, fighting aberrations and dealing with them non-violently the types of aber- aberrations included in the book uh, is Abolith, Beholder, Mind Players, Neogi, Socha, Grell, and the subtypes of each. Uh, are mm. you going to look closer at the book? Yes. Okay. Can I just take the book? Let's yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh... You, you, as you touch the book... Okay. Okay. As I touch the book... Uh, all right, Leona, can hmm. you roll a, a perception check? Okay, give me a second. Uh, by the way, while all this is happening, I'm talking to the priest, uh, keeping him distracted, and forcing him to tell me info about uh, the history of this library and so on. Okay. 22. 
सब छत ฮะอืมเบดอนาดิสเซอร์ชั่นเซอร์ชั่นเซอร์ชั่นเซอร์ชั่นเซอร์ชั่นเซอร์ชั่นเซอร์ชั่นเซอร์ชั่นเซอร
<laughs> I cannot see anything here. So I just pretend that I didn't know. <laughs> and I just look at where 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 my icon is is uh no. It seems to be interested in something, so I'm just gonna take a look at that, that shelf. The shelf is more like uh aspects of the deities. Okay, let's let's see. Which one are you interested in? Timmy? Uh wait, the 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 Ar- the, the Archon it's not like, yo, motherfucker, there's something bad going on over there. The Archon will, will share the same turn with you. Yeah, so he's, yeah, he's not saying anything. I'm not sure with me, but the problem here is that I can't see anything. Yeah, just, just, okay, I can't, I can't see anything, so, so I'm going to roleplay it as, as, as such. Uh. Yeah, so the Archon's not saying anything then, huh? <laughs> right? Then. Yep. Okay, <laughs> the priest. Let's just look at the book. Oh, oh, God, I should have given him. Spellcasting. Oh, spellcasting. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Oh god. Haha. This priest is a fifth level spellcast. <laughs> spellcasting is wisdom. Fifth level spellcaster! The priest has oh. following cleric spell prepared can prep like Secret Flame, which is not fire spell by the way. Uh Tromotogy and Spiritual Weapon. <coughs> this is the priest that uh, almost caught me, right, Jim? Uh, uh, yes. Remember the spiritual weapon that he summoned? Boing! <laughs> <laughs> and immediately attack. Oh, God. Now, now uh, Morbius needs to be careful not to give away his uh, location or give away his presence because Priest doesn't know he's in <laughs> So, like, hmm. Okay, it starts hitting that thing for that. And Camille. Alright, I shall move. See. See if I get line of sight. Wait. Uh, sh- oh. Shadow loading. Alright. Sorry, I'm, I'm just. Okay, I see the thing. The, the, the spiritual weapon, the hammer hits it. It's, it makes a dent on the soft wax. Mm. Sorry, uh, I just have to ask. Like, uh, when I was kind of shouting at uh, the priest asking what the hell is that, what? nobody really noticed it? Like, nobody really noticed what I just say. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just, I'm just wondering. Your uh, voice you emanates that. across the room. Yep. Yeah, so... I we heard that. Yep. Carl is the only one that's Blind by, is is deaf then? All right. All right. I, I, cause basically, uh, okay. Basically, you know, you're talking about what's that? Uh-huh. But I thought, well, we thought you're doing a distraction or something, so I didn't really bother. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, what's yeah. That? That's... My finger. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 my character thinks you're dis- you're doing some distraction or whatnot. So, I, we didn't, hear, I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything other than that. So I was like, ah, we we're not doing it. Her distraction. Alright, <laughs> and now you hear a soft thud. Soft yeah, thud. Uh, 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 I, hear, I hear boom, something striking. Like, oh crap, something. Oh, uh, so spell save DC. Um, on what role is it again? Wisdom, I think. Dex. 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 Roll for Dex GM. All right, Dex. Come on, let me put this uh to back. <laughs> Otherwise, I cannot click even click uh, on the thing no. because it's there. It's okay, okay. Uh, the extremity check, right? Yes, yes. Saving throw. Saving throw. Sorry, okay. Nah, save. Dex. <laughs> this yeah. is a thing that is not dexterous. Mm, so yep. mm, bling bling, you are. So it is highlighted like a disco ball. Alright, status is highlighted. IGB. Mm-hmm. And then I shall inspire Leona and I shall take cover. Alright, thank you. I'm about inspire a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be something. <clears throat> Alright. So, EOT, can you do it? 
loading. Okay. You're using the app, is it? I know, he said he has his laptop. Can I press the EOT for you? I just have a, I just have a damn slow laptop. I, I'll okay. try to press the EOT for you, see if you can or not. <gasps> oh, did I do that? Yep, I think so. Oh, yep. Okay, now it's Vincent's turn. Morbius, it's Morbid time. Oh, the figure's yeah. out. <laughs> okay, uh, did I manage to snatch that book, Jam? Uh, yes, you managed to snatch it. Like the, With oh, the distraction that I gave, you better get it. Okay, because I don't want it to be spotted, I'll try to move on to the next shelf. And I will DM you what I'm trying to find. <laughs> and turn. At, a, at an action, I will roll for investigation as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. There's a lot of things <laughs> going on. <laughs> Fucking through my door, like shadow. <laughs> Watch Aqua Power. Okay, let's see. I'll this. try to find it, yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> oh god, I can't burn it. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I, now I need to think. Okay, noted. And I, uh, I, U T. All right. So it's my turn now. Uh, looking at what the priest did uh, by smashing the golem. Uh, oh God. Let's see. The the spiritual weapon hammers hit it, but it doesn't. Well, it seems to be uh, creating a dent, and then the dent sort of corrects itself. Oh God! Basically, it's immune to that kind of shit. Oh God damn it! No magical weapon. Uh, is it? No, no, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. Oh, god damn it. I'll move. Uh, and see. then you notice a priest. Stop saying blasphemous words in a holy place. Ah, sorry about that. So, okay, I'll. Here. God damn it, this is gonna be awkward. Um. <clears throat> I shall. Mock the monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, oh, I, sh blown. I shall call it. You are a centuries old waste. <laughs> ah, wisdom, wisdom save. save. Yeah. Wisdom save. Okay. Monster? Is it a wise monster? Oh, it is. Wise monster. It's a wise monster. It's a wise monster. And you, you oh. think that yes, it has centuries old wisdom around it, also oh, surrounded with books and all this. It's very learned. Um, <laughs> it's a very learned. Boy, um, let me, let me come on. What I can do? Uh, okay, uh, but also Leona, mm -hmm. you sense a sense of disapproval from somewhere. I mean, it could be the priest, and but he told me not to uh, say bad words, so I have to find alternatives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, um, okay, I already used my action to cast spells. Um, okay, I shall um, move to the back a bit. Yes, that's what I shall do. I shall move towards this. Statue. Yes, that's what I should do. And okay. I will pass the turn to Chen. Chen. You touching the book may have at inadvertently triggered that presence. <laughs> oh, it's not his fault. Again. <laughs> 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 it used to be shadow though. Mm. <laughs> 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 you replaced her for him. Oh, boys, okay. Oh, boys. So, what do you do, my friend? 
Okay, let's see. So I just go like from here to here, or just directly pressing you now. I'm going to the file. Five. So I'm gonna just move up front to okay. here. Alright. Oh, that is a large monster. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so now you realize what has the Luna has been shouting about. Oh, that's a large monster. But you managed to catch yourself from. Cussing <laughs> out loud. Just now for a crossbow bolt. That means okay. I'm gonna fire my crossbow bolt and see does it any effect. Oh, no. fumble table. Hmm? Oh. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Verify your advantage. Oh, true, true, true. Lucky. Oh, oh luckily. Ah, uh, I was just about to call up a render <laughs> uh, fumble table. <laughs> oh well. All right. Twelve. <laughs> okay. Uh, it just hits it, and the wax. Hot wax seems to be melting the the crossbow bolts. I guess that is oh, my it melted. Ah, uh, should we caught a fire, ma? Wooden mat. Well, it may be melting into the thing, but it, because it's always the it, the wax seems to be moving as the thing moves. Okay, and like that, I'm just gonna EOT. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. It seems to be moving, and, well, if I may say so, it's more like rumbling towards this priest. The priest uh, is Siri, trying to cover face from the heat, from the molten wax. And it will start. Sam! <clears throat> what the? What the? Mm -mm. It's high attack, but it's only 9 damage. 9 damage first? Okay, take the 9 damage first. Okay. And, okay. Succeed on the DC 15 Constitution saving throw. Save Constitution. Who oh, save? And it will slam a take in. Slam. Oof. Oh, oh. 16. Give me a second. Um. What can I do with this one? Uh, give me a second. Any, anything? Alright, anything? Before it takes damage? Oh, it's man. a huge thing. With just one arm, it's smack the priest. Whack! Across the face. Uh, it's, it's high. It's stupid high. Uh, God damn. Um, can't do much. The, the, Man, like the, the attack roll is too high. No, don't, I don't have nothing. Yeah, but for us, is, is, yeah. is the monster taller than the bookshelf? It's almost, I thought, these are tall bookshelves. Okay, yeah, that, that explains why I can't see it. Now I can see it. <laughs> you can oh, see what? in between the bookshelves. Yeah, so it's like, holy <laughs> Okay, and then, I'm okay, the, the priest has to do... Constitution. The. Oh. 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 Yes. The. See. The monster is large in class. It is large. Mm -hmm. 
But uh. these books, the, the bookshelves are really tall. Mm. That's why you can search from the ground up, but then again, some of the thing is up as. Which is why some of you can reach the tall ones, the tall bookshelves. Mm. All right. And that's it. The priest is really, 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 really in bad shape. Oh, what spell do I have for stopping it, the priest? The searing hot wax just uh, goes into the, in between the chain shirt that, is, that, that the priest is wearing, scalding the, the priest. Not to mention the chain shirt. <laughs> the chain shirt is metal. It transfers his really well. Oh, no. Okay, uh, my turn. Ah, yep. Okay. Oh God! Ay, ay, ay. Uh, I am one, right? He he's on fairy fire, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep, yep. Okay, I'll do blaster. Fire, sir. Fourteen and twenty-five. Wait, twenty-five. Yes. Yeah. Fourteen and twenty-five. Okay. DC fifteen, right? No, 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 no. It's, it's just it's just a damage. It's just okay. a I guess easy. Motivation. Okay. Yeah. So what did? Hit on hit, yep. For his class, is when on hit, he moves 10 feet back. Yeah, he, he, if we, we, are, we can use him to, we can ask him to make a DC if he get pushed back again. He's a huge one. Yep, yep. True. Oh, yeah, true. Sure. Okay, so, the first is what, 14, is it? Mm. Okay, 14. Then he will do a DC 15. DC 15. DC fifteen. Uh, what's what's saving? I'm not strength. Save. Uh, strength. Oh, yep, strength. Yep, strength. Boom. Seven. Yep. Yeah. Push him back. Okay. First is nine damage. Okay. Second one is nine. Wait, wait, wait. Ten. Sorry, ten. ten. Second one is twenty-five. Eight damage. Mm -hmm. The second one misses. Misses? It's twenty five. Oh twenty five, oh, sorry. Ah you didn't see that. I thought it's fourteen. And boss, if it's for uh if the first oh, one yeah, yeah, 40, yeah. 40, yeah, first one is okay, yeah. First one is also hits. So twenty five. The second one is twenty save strength. With advantage. Hmm. So he Eight. still uh, he gets moved ten feet back. Yeah, just ten. Okay. Second and one I... is eight. Okay. Okay, and then I will give me a second. Uh. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Uh. Let me check the land on account skill. So I can spell. I can cast detect good and evil. Continue flame, and they like. Okay, not not that useful. But you know what? I I gonna cast healing on the priest. Uh. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. Let's uh, let, let's keep go full heal on him. Ooh. Eighteen. I heal the priest for eighteen. You managed to soothe the the priest agony. <gasps> no, he's his turn. Yep. Are you done? Yeah, I saw you're welcome. First, oh. it will do the. Wait, I forgot. I pressed my end my turn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go. So, the priest will do the attack with the spiritual weapon first. Ah! With the advantage, right? Yes, 22. 22. Yep, 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 yep. Seven force, okay. All right, so it will cast. Ooh, 
Ooh, spiritual weapon. No, wait, what? Spiritual guardian. Oh, that's his ten. Ooh, that's powerful. Spiritual guardian is the floating thing around him, right? Ah, phew, that's huge. That's like ten ten. <laughs> it's within the knee, right? 20 feet, mm. right? If I'm not mistaken. It, it, it's, uh, I think it deals fixed damage, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Yep. So, basically, in the skinny turns, about the hit, right? Mm -hmm. The chopper is there, and it's getting hit. But, okay, let's see. Guardian, spiritual weapon, oh god, so many spiritual stuff. Yes, you are in the church, it? anyway. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, In one corner, Vincent feels a bit threatened <laughs> with all the holiness. Vampire? <laughs> 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 no, no, lah. he's not a vampire, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm not a vampire. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but you can never be so sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so Priest will end his turn. Camille's turn. Camille! Alright. I shall pop up out of my hiding spot and, and shoot with my short bow. Alright. Go ahead. The volleys of um, magical attacks have managed to. You can see wax dripping. From the body onto the floor. Ooh, not bad. Okay, this time around. It's immune to non magic attacks, right? It seems to be immune to that. We'll have to wait to see what the verdict says from the GM. GM. It does hit. It does hit, mm -hmm. and it your okay. Your 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 arrow almost put out the, the, the candle on top of his head, and, but then again the candle sputters back. But it does. It seems to be adding a bit of discomfort to it, and it seems to be doing damage. Really? Mm. Yep. Yes, it does. Huh. Nice. I said uh, ah, more I, I, well. More wax falls from the the body or from the arm onto the ground and did not converge back onto the entity. Oh, that's good. Oh, boys. All right, all right. So, Jim, uh, my last investigation, do I found what I wanted to no. find? Unfortunately, no. Maybe it's on then some other some other bookshelf, but not in this particular one. I move to the next bookshelf right. and do the same repeating order. Alright. So this is more towards the art of warfare. Oh, and... art of... Yep. Uh, art of warfare. The previous shelf? Artifacts and, and enchantments. Oh, okay. Basically, all the chefs are stacked into one thing. Most, like, most of it. Majority of it. Oh, uh, okay. know. I never know. But I just... Okay, I just do the same thing. Let's investigate and try to uh, see if I find something. Okay. Alright. Anything else? Uh, that one again. Okay. And then EOT. Alright, oh god. Looking at the monster here. I. Oh god, this, this is going to be challenging. Give me a second. <clears throat> so, um, did Camille's attack work? Seems to. Okay, um. I'm going to move 30 feet 
towards here. Oh wow, I can't see it? Really? Jim, this, this thing is blocking me? Really? It's, oh, okay. Now, uh, no, okay, hold on. We... Okay, can you see it? No, uh, it's, huh? uh, that, that, is, that is odd. Like, I should have a clear view unless the stairs is really tall, but I doubt that. There's an upper level. No, no, uh, the veranda. So, okay, can you see it now? I can see the top of it, but... Um, okay, okay, hold on. We mm. can... Okay, hold on. Let me see. Ah, okay, there we go. Thank you. Alright, so... Oh. Uh, okay, Um, I'll pull out my hand crossbow. And... Okay. Oh, where is the... Okay attack triggers and I'll try and shoot the golem from where I am okay go ahead uh, frick. even with advantage is at 13 so is it are you sneaking uh, the uh, every attack that I make that uh, with advantage uh, it adds sneak attack to it okay so at advantage Your crossbow bolt managed to pierce the thing and you, you take out bits and chunks of pieces of some of the molting wax. So you do 6 damage, right? Mm -hmm, total 6. Alright. All right. It does damage too. Mm, all right. Maybe one of the fingers tip started to be lopped off. <clears throat> alright, and I shall stay here. Um, yeah, I'll just yeah after shooting the golem uh feeling that this spot is a good spot to manage i shall uh stay quiet for now and pass the turn to chen Chen, you have a clear okay. view of the golem it's big huge okay my question is does big guardian stack different person so that's right. Sure. Yeah. I mean, if, unless if I... it's only on uh, enemies. If you are friendly, you can move into a friendly spirit guardian. Am I friendly to her? I know <laughs> we are now because <laughs> that's a like, good question. Ah, right? <laughs> uh, the priest knows the cleric. The the priest. The cleric knows the cleric spell well. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm. So uh, you are mm. you are saying that. You are going mm. to uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> reveal yourself. Mm. No, no, not a good idea. No. <laughs> no. Mm. Try, try to attack it oh. with arrows, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have another thing, but I don't want to. Nah, no, no, that that is not good. Let me see what's in my arsenal. Arsenal, Arsenal. Arsenal. Much. It's both yeah. a moral moral and tactical question. <laughs> hey, I have Tool of the Dead. Does it work? Mm -hmm. That temple oh. was under with another piece. The recording is itself. Oh yeah, I have another another thing. Yagi Ball. <laughs> yep. Wait, wait, wait. Uh Wrong, wrong. So you can this. Wait. Oh. Call. Guiding. Oh, yeah. Then. Submit. Oh, yeah. Second level. Okay. Mm -hmm. So higher level cast, right? Yep. Okay. Does it hit? So uh, that's thirteen, right? 
13 and then but, radiant but damage. damage. Right. Also, it's damaged, right? So basically, I don't know when you pass this. Uh, it's 25 damage if it hits. Ah, so yes, okay. So it's 20 plus 5. Alright, cool. It doesn't hit, Jim? It does hit. Damage, man. Mm. Yep. The the flash of light suddenly surprised even the priest. Suddenly, boom! What the? What the? Mm. Oh lord! Next attack I, is I, I double advantage. Next attack. Next attack. Uh, yep. Double advantage. Double advantage or just add advantage? Don't know. Ask the game. Add advantage. Okay. okay. Add advantage. Mm. Damage um, increases. Okay. When you cast a spell using the. For each level, so level above first. Yep. Next level, yep. Does it want this tag? No, shouldn't. Like, no. There's, that, that doesn't make sense. You're already at yeah. advantage. You're yeah, already at advantage. <laughs> you want to double advantage? Double what advantage. does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Confirm you do double roll. Nice. Confirm advantage, Punya. <laughs> Oh, so you roll another dice. <laughs> Three <laughs> dice. Yeah, and then you pick the highest, which was the previous one. <laughs> the answer is you advantage as a stack. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, boys, okay. Any who? All right, ten. Okay. You have done anything I else? Think, um, not much I can do with my bonus action, unless I want to heal this priest, but not at the moment. Pull him right, away. Right now, in the ear. right right now, huge chunks of wax uh has started falling off. Even the the candle on top of it has started to sputter, and it start moving oh, no. forward. So it has to make a wisdom save, right? Yes, it mm. does. So save. What was wisdom. the damage again? Three d six or three d eight? Wait, wait, wait. I think three d six. It's spiritual weapon, right? No, it, no uh, it, no, spiritual... It, spirit guardian. Spirit guardian. <laughs> oh God, uh... Ah, spell save DC 13. Yeah. Oh, it, it really is wise. On a... Oh. 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 E Eons On of knowledge. On the dot. Okay. So, it... Okay, save yeah, is yeah. half damage. So you need to roll a what was it again? Three D eight of necrotic damage. Ah, uh, three D eight. Wow. All right. Or oh, radiant. Or oh, radiant. Did you say? It's radiant. Yeah. Oh, radiant. Yeah, so oh. Eight divided by two, so four. Two, four radiant damage. Mm. It's a piece of light, ma. A oh. piece of necromancy. No, no, because like uh, I I didn't notice the back part, but yes, okay, makes sense. Oh. All right. Okay, so it begins there, and then it's going to do its attack after being lighted by... It, it is a creature of almost full light, lighted by the lantern... Not lantern kami, lantern archon. Mm -hmm. And radiant. <laughs> Irradiated now. It will just slam attack. First oh slam attack. God, that's high. Shoot. Oh. Oh god. Is uh, that? Uh, give me a second to read on my spell stuff. Can I reduce the damage? Anything uh, that you can do? Okay, reduce that or damage roll. Yeah, um, I shall um, mock it before damage happens. So okay. that is a one D six was it? Yeah, my body inspiration is one D six. So I shall double checking for body inspiration die body inspiration. Uh, give me a second. Double checking. Okay, D six. So I shall roll D six to minimize its damage some four. Okay, so that is a what? 16. 16? Okay, yeah. So I shall call it names. 
Hey, you! Look at me! As it tries to hit the priest. Uh, it do, okay, the attack does hit the priest with a big wallop. Bloop, knocking the air out of the priest. There's a big bruise and the one of the eyes of the priest is, is a bloody mess. Oh no. That's the first attack. Oh god, the second a... attack. Oh god, this guy's strong. I oh, only hey. have one reaction. Anything? Uh, boss, I have, I have only one reaction. That's yep. all I can do. Well, just <laughs> not, with, with the other hand, it, it, it just sort of, not smite, it just slap downwards and all flatten the priest. <laughs> it's a mess of wax plus blood plus flesh plus the cracking bones oh, on the floor. God. Wish I haven't seen that. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, damn it. And with that, it moves forward. Oh, uh, forward. Dis dissipate the weapons and spirits. Yep. Holy cow! That's a nasty monster. Oh no! How 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 are you gonna explain the? Dead priest later. And well, the problem that, is how we... Yeah, with that, it can only move that far. And that's it. Who's going to tank this shit out? The tank? No one can tank it if it hit 20 and above. Uh, I remember we had a guy who can do that. Mm, I wonder where he is now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does the monster look like? What? Uh, what? Uh, I cannot hear you. What's the monster look like right now? Is it like heavy damage or? It's quite heavy damage. It's it's dripping wax and it's losing mass in, in a way because the wax, some of the the, the wax that has uh, dropped from it is not uh, recombining back. Mm. Oh, so so yeah, I think it will not last very long. Oh, uh, yeah, you say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tank mm -hmm. has to do the sh all the heavy lifting now. <laughs> that one's so fireball. I don't have a fireball. Also, I do not recommend throwing fireball with a place that is easily burned. That's why we are in the library. Yeah, like, I, I, I have stuff that burns, but I'm trying not to do it. <laughs> 26, 16. Oh. Alright, 26 first. Mm-hmm. And then Force damage. Okay. Uh and then roll for what was it again? Strength safe, yes. Oh strength or oh yeah. Strength safe. Or not hit back. Also where does he where does he go? Oh save. <laughs> Second one is sixteen. Okay. Fourteen. Not bad. Not a bad hit. Alright. And strength safe again. Not too bad. What was it again? 15, right? 15, yeah. 15, 15. Alright. 10 feet. Alright. Okay. It, it knocks it back. Damn. Okay. Shit. God damn it. As <gasps> it was knocked back with the second attack, um, it seems like the huge chunks of it started uh, falling, making it falling apart, and then it starts melting rapidly as the volatile some magic that created it causes it to burn up. So, in this time around, okay, mm -hmm. ten feet. Where's, where's Mister Ten Feet? There is. Wait, Mister or? No, I'm just looking for Mister Ten Feet radius. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> radius. All right. Oh, Mister Ten Feet radius. Oh yes, to him. Okay. Anything that that goes within that seems to be uh, as you can see. Things started to burn uh, with the, that melting fire, with a high heat temperature. It's as if it is really, really um, burning rapidly, and it, it's causing intense heat. Are the and books burning? 
Uh, yes, some of the the books on the planar studies uh, started to wilt and start to combust. Oh God damn it! Fire. Now I can just shift the plane. Okay, mm. yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is this is challenging. Mm. And see, as the bird, oh, okay. Uh, when all this, you you start all of you started to detect a bit of an anger or rage from somewhere in the room with the manuscript being burning. Does Tinchet feel it? You... Huh. Does Tinchet feel like a bit mad. of rage there? It's not our fault, it's the monster's fault. Technically, I guess. it's our fault. Tinchet is just getting the okay. books. Carl, anything else? Wait, I need to get my time to Yeah, well, I see you. Alright, let's move back. Oh. When did you just move up front? Be the tank. Come on, Carl. Come on, be the tank. Alright, bye. See you. <laughs> my, my friends have the glory. Oh, now we're talking about glory. Yeah, yeah. Now, now he says glory. To share the glory with all my friends, you know. Let everyone take part in the community. Oh boy! Oh boy! Alright, that's it. <laughs> Wait, it's jam. Yep. The priest is dead, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I just tried to. Ah, okay, there. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, can, 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 is it possible to revive the priest or she, she's just like dead, dead, dead? It, she has been splattered. How do we revive that? 1,000 gold coins. No, 1,000. Gold coins? Yeah, I think so. Well, well mm-hmm. they're just asking a gem because technically you cannot resurrect your FPC. So, just asking yeah. a gem. Yep. And also, it, it is a, a really, really flat damage. It is flat, flat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It is a big, huge damage. <laughs> Alright. So, Camille. I shall move beside Chin Chin and then I shall shoot. Pew! Don't be a stormtrooper! (laughs) (laughs) You're not a stormtrooper! Alright, interestingly enough, you managed to... Okay. You thought you are about to miss. But somehow, you managed to barely scrape it. And it does deal damage to you. And then I put one arm on Chen Chen and I say, Go tank, go, as I inspire him. And then I move away. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Bloody hell. laughs> Chen, go! We have faith in you! Oh, man, my fucking face is three, dude. Is this three, dude? Is this three, dude? Then I go, drop a thank you to you! <laughs> it's three, then I get the job to you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Vincent. Alright, my turn. Hello, hello? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we hear you. How, GM, how is the flame on the monster's head? It's still burning. Like, yes. is it bright? Uh, by, angrily? It, 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 right now, it's bright. Because uh, it's burning brightly. I think the whole body now is about uh, reaching melting point. 
I, I have something stupid I want to try. <gasps> God. Right. Again, GM, this is the... I think I will do this for the last time. Mm-hmm. Try to find that information that I want. The, the book of information that I want. Alright. Eh, salah history pula. Hmm. Looking at this situation, it reminds you of your past when you kind of read books while everybody else is fighting. <laughs> In the candle keep, by the way. <laughs> Ouch. That's, that that's the investigation. Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> uh, that's my action, and uh, okay. I'll your tea for now. Okay. Alright. Shit, no item. Alright, looking at the situation, and judging by the monster, I'll do something stupid. Hey? <laughs> I'll cast Motoji on the candle and dim it as low as it can go. No, no, you can snuff it out first with Motoji. You go? Can I? Yeah. Read the description. You can snuff out a light or light it up. Really? It does it? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. You can cause flame to flicker, brighter or oh, dim. Uh... Yeah. Oh, that explains the digitation. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Um, press the digitation. <laughs> yeah, so, Tramoto G. So, I'll try and dim it as far as it can, uh, as far as it can, uh, it can go for at least one minute. And one minute is six rounds, right? GM? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Just putting in the counter there. And then, uh, what's the reaction of the monster? Well, uh, the flame is, is not lighted anymore. But right now, it's burning from the inside out. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, it, was, it was worth a try. <laughs> so, I shall dash 60 feet me. <laughs> I shall dash 60 feet to where I feel like, yeah, 40, yeah, I'll, I'll go 40 here. Wee! Zoom! I'm no tank. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Amil and Chen Chen felt an, uh, something menacing, like something really, really is menacing towards you. Go, 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 as, go, if, go. as if a great hate was projected onto you. Go, 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 uh-huh. So if I dash, it's double that, right? 35 foot So it's 70. Uh-huh. 70, okay. Mm-hmm. How far is this? <laughs> uh, from your point, if you're dashing behind, yeah, you, you can reach the far end easily. And, mm. uh. <laughs> oh, God. Be the tank! <laughs> Be the tank! No. Remember me, J.D. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Caspel ran away. Caspel ran away. But still, the... Mm, nah, nah. Let's see. Have you thought, the blood the hand. Yeah. How, how far is this way? I just need to be around 15 feet from him. Oh, no. I don't have. Two. Okay, now I know. Um. First is... Uh, Chen, uh, spiritual guide. I'm gonna help my spirit guardian. <laughs> okay. Oh God! The, the, how does how how does the pantheon of this place react to this? <laughs> hey, it's standard, right? God invades other god in the territory. Uh, yeah, like. It's not... oh God, that's gotta be something else. <laughs> All right. Then, as a bonus section, I'm gonna launch my spiritual weapon. Alright. Where's my spiritual weapon? Oh god. Ah. 26? Not bad. Hey, yo, yo, Alamak. spirit weapon. Oh, spirit weapon 36, nice. With 8 damage. Not bad. What cool damage for spirit weapon, ah? Hmm? What was it? It's a D8. Oh, it's a full damage. Uh, no, it's a half. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 
Eight, right? Mm, yeah. Eight. All right. So anything else? Mm, nope. I'm gonna EOT. Wait, you're not gonna run? <laughs> uh nah. Alright, be the tank. I'm the tank, right? Yeah. I'm the tank. Be the tank. Alright, inspired by Camille. Thank you, Camille, for inspiring me. Yeah. Mm. Last word for Chen Chen. <laughs> Last word for yeah, Chen Chen. Remember you, Chen Chen? We should remember you. If 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 you get crushed, I will remove you again and again. No. <laughs> uh, damage from spiritual uh, guidance, was it? Spirit Guardian, yep. Yeah, Spirit Guardian. The, the, a save versus what? Wisdom, is it? Wisdom, I if yes, I remember. Yes, Wisdom save. And Wisdom is what again now? 15? Uh, yep. 15. 15. 15, alright. Mm-hmm. So wise? Damn wise, man. 15 on the dot. Damn, Damn wise. Yep, but it, then half damage, then? Yes. Yep. To take half damage. Okay, so you should roll? roll a one, no, uh, 8d8, 3d8, yes. Another, uh, 3d8, 12, 6, 6 point of damage, not bad. Is the whole molten, uh, inside started to coalesce into a fireball. God damn it! The fuck? Uh, Carl, it's your fault! <laughs> okay. Is it, is it a spell, GM? It is a spell. Okay. Do you want to counter it? Yes, I counter spell it. Whoa! Yay! Nice! Yo! When did you have that? Well, you know. Mizu Sama pro- provides. <laughs> yeah, we could have used water previously to place out the flames, but no. Uh, are you casting it? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I, I encounter spelling it. Press button. Description, please. Give me a second. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll put a 20 foot radius. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Okay, oh, casting a new reaction. Counter spell two blues. Counter target spell. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I can use one reaction, so two. Alright, so as it, it, it prepares to cast, you can see the flame started bubbling from the inside out, and then suddenly, <coughs> somebody literally splash water onto it. <laughs> okay. And and then it's going to just move. Oh no. Oh god. Slam! And that. Uh, Holy crap! Boy, Holy um, crap! Um, Car- Camille, you, you, you want to cutting words? No? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let me see. 1d8. Ooh, 1d8. Cutting words. Reduce the damage. 5, so basically. No um, lah. Reduce the attack roll lah. No, you can reduce the damage also. No, reduce the attack roll. Oh, uh, uh, Chen Chen, how much I see ya? Uh? Hi, right. 17. Uh, 17. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 much better. Fine. Reduce the attack roll. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. And that's it. Ah, that's all. 
Yeah, we also passed yeah. the castle. Yep. We also passed the castle. Yep. We also passed the castle. Yep. We also passed the castle. Yep. Oh god. Matlana eh? Dua kali call mati. One of the because it it uses one of its arm in order to to gather enough material to cast the fireball. Call? Thinking. Thinking give me a second. Okay, I I I still got almost spell so I'm going to save my spell slot. So, Chen Chen, I can't help you thank but yeah. Unfortunately, I can't help you tank right now because I need to save a spell slot in case he can't save the spell. Oh no, I repeat it. Okay, give me a second, let me think. What? What happened? Did someone click something? Oh, <laughs> that's true. Mm. After his own fireball. Because I assume it's something I can't because I didn't expect it. I can't alter my own spell. <laughs> Technically, you could on reaction. Ah uh, no, you can take a reaction action out of your turn. Ah yeah. Just because I just like, oh, what the heck happened? Alright, anything? You know, yeah, yeah. Give me a second, give me a second. I'm thinking. Ah, god damn it. Ah, uh, uh, more. I got, I got uh, frostbite. Uh, technically, you, you could just use eldritch blast to push it away or just do damage to it. Yeah, just 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 eldritch blast it lah. Oh, Chen, sorry, uh, I forgot about the melting point. Melting point? Burn the melting point? Yeah, the melting point? The melting point from the... Yeah, um... You are within 10 feet range. Uh, okay. 3d6. Fire damage. Oh, we count! 3d6, I roll you... Um, I'll roll it. You roll, alamak. Chen, you roll, you roll. Oh, it's okay lah. I'll take your, I'll take your role lah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just to be fair, I will roll. Okay, I, lower, I'll roll. Okay, I'll lower, take my role. Okay. Lower, 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 lower. No, one, one, one. Fumble, fumble, fumble. fumble. Lower. <laughs> what was it? What was it? Ah, yes. Oh, okay, oh. fine. It, take it half. <laughs> yes. Half damage. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright. Oh. <coughs> okay. So, Carl was doing okay. Blasting uh, it? Yep, Eldritch Blast 24 and Blast 22. Blast. Uh, is the Fairy Fire still on? Yep. Of course. Okay. It's 10. Now it's only at turn 3. And save strength. Two. It has advantage. Fifteen. Advantage. Second one. Let's go. Second strength save. Call it. Oh. Oh. Wait. What? No. 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 How can you call it when... Oh, second one hits. And it's killing it. Nice! Boy! Boy. All, all you hear is a, is a silent word. I say, snipe. And the golems fell, fell dead. And then Mizu-sama says, Yeah, that's what I do. Holy cow. Okay, I, I'm going to try to put off the fire with frostbite. Um. That GM, do I find the book that I wanted? <laughs> God damn it. No. Because you only just seen <laughs> No. Alright, okay. okay. Alright. So okay, I can do this. GM, when oh. you mentioned before, right, like uh we felt a uh, evil pre uh, a dark presence in the middle of the room, what you said? It's not a dark presence, it's more like a menacing. So who who felt that? Everybody or just certain people? I think by now, all of you are feeling it. Okay, I'm gonna investigate this busk or whatever it is. Okay, uh, Jem, Je I'm, I'm going to... Is it possible to use frostbite to, <coughs> like, uh, put out the fire? Well, most of the, the books of the planner studies, uh, I think half of that has been uh, turned to cinders. 
His, some of them are aflame. It's still possible, right, to use Frostbite, I think? You can. Frostbite, I guess. Frostbite them. Try to prevent the damage uh, right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is this is my turn. Uh. I'll use this thing to just frostbite everything. Yeah. Let the fire, it doesn't burn down the whole library. You managed to prevent the fire from spreading. Damn it, we should have spread it. That's a good. And then we can just go out. I mean, there's a menace. Oh, yeah. Didn't we say we're burning the church? <laughs> there's a menacing presence in, in, in the library, so it's not a good idea to burn down the church, you know? Mm. It might be something much more just scary. Burn down the church. <laughs> and we dream like a, a natural accident, then we can just go. Uh, uh, we can use it as a cover to go out of here. So, so true. But anywho, uh, Jim? Uh, okay. Investigation fail, I guess. No, uh, well, you, as you were investigating, you, the, your colleagues have been talking about burning the, all the books, the entire church, and this thing appeared. Ooh, what's that? I cannot see because of the Archon. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what oh, in the God. world? What in the world? What the hell is that? And with that, I will... We will stop here on the cliffhanger. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, what's that? Uh, Go, Carl, gentle. Carl, can you I move can... the Archon away? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay let's stop. Let, okay, let's stop here. Let's stop where where you are. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking a screenshot of this. If we move, we playing next week. Luckily, I'm still invisible. <laughs> You assholes! <laughs> yeah, what's that? Dance, dance before next week? No, no, no. <laughs> no, next week, next week. XP, XP, XP. <laughs> okay. XP, Lou. XP. Alright. So, you managed to charm your way, uh, investigate and everything. So, I think this is quite a significant... Oh, that's a significant fight. Yeah, man. Like, oof. Congratulations for surviving. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> ah, yo, you guys are. <coughs> oh, man, so each and every rough. one of you receive six hundred damage. Yes, six hundred. The more that six hundred HP. <laughs> you mean six hundred XP? Okay. Yes, it's not HP. XP. Uh, oh, I think man. it's too late. It's a very early in the morning now. <laughs> no man, that, that that fight was fun. That fight was fun. Oh, you managed to really, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you managed to to quell a fireball. That was surprising. <laughs> oh, it was taking almost. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, congratulations! You got six hundred points each. Mm -hmm. Nothing for ex uh, experience. Uh, sorry, uh, nothing for roleplay. You each and every one of you will receive hundred, another hundred points for role playing. Okay. Yay! Man, that and that, fi that role... and fifty points and fifty points for investigations. Lots of investigations. That that investigation role, like uh, at the altar, there was damn. Somebody, somebody managed to have a religious uh, <laughs> religion check pass. Penitent, a penitent person kneels when praying. Mm, and then, like, okay. Um, as I soon as you do that, you can see. Oh, you can see. Oh, that's that's like a hidden button. Eh? That twenty. Right? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought ah, that I was thought, that was, was a shield or something. <laughs> oh god. Oh, damn! That was that was something else. Now next week with this guy, that's that's going to be something else. <laughs> No, next week, next week, next week, GM won't be around, right? Yeah, yes. I will be around. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> More suspense. Ah, my face, it hurts because of smiling too much. Ouch! Hey, you guys are the one who say, who talks about talking about burning the thing, the burning the church, <laughs> burning the books. Hey, I'm not the man, okay? I, I tried to put out the fire, okay? 
Ah. Essa chefe tem que do pai, ok? E a rota lá. Any, uh, yeah, we, that, that is for another next week's plan. Like, um, we, we have our escape plan, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. <laughs> oh well. Hope you guys had fun. Oh, lots. My, yeah, my, yeah. my investigation of Net20 was unexpected. <laughs> what, uh, what is expected is your religious check. Uh, kind of. I <laughs> put a bit of thing inside there because, um, Recommended by uh, strategy guides to put at least put something in religion because it's kind of a bad thing to do. It's either in uh, history or religion. Mm. All right, so congratulations! I hope you had fun. Uh, it was a uh, slow role playing, but it culminates into a big boss fight. <laughs> that is true. I I am surprised uh, that we entered the church without showing the letter. So it's like hmm. That's good. <laughs> <laughs>